What's happening, lads? We've got some absolutely unbelievable news. We have been shortlisted. We're in the final four, final four, for a National Comedy Award. We want you to go to votehaveaword.com right now and vote for us. There's other categories as well, but we are up against the three biggest podcasts in the country. We like to think we're massive, but we're a small fish compared to these. What we do have over them, though, is the most engaged and interactive fan base on the planet, you lot. If you've already voted for us, that doesn't count. You have to do it again. You have to vote, and then you'll be sent an email to click a link and verify your vote. Please go and do it now. Your votes have got us this far. We need you to go again, vote again, send it to your friends and family, put it in your WhatsApp groups, tweet it, Instagram it, all that good stuff, and make us win a National Comedy Award, and the underdog wins this. Live on Channel 4. Get Sensei Carl live on Channel 4, and he will end UK television. (laughs) (laughs) We've also got specials out. I've got a stand-up special out, Adam Rowan Perius. Thank you so much to the over 100,000 people who've already watched that. That is on the Have A Weird channel if you want to check that out. But my man, Dan Nightingale, first ever stand-up special. It's out right now. Go and watch Smash It on the Have A Word YouTube page. I would really appreciate it if you did comments, shares. Let everybody know I made a full show. And on top of that, if you're scrolling through social media and you see a clip we've put out from Have A Word or one of the specials, do us a favour, like, share it, retweet it, all of that for us. It helps. Now, as always, we've got to tell you, we have got the number one Patreon membership in the UK and one of the top 20 on the planet. The reason for that is you get all of this good stuff. Dan, tell them what they get. An extra episode every week. It's just us and the boys It's always the best podcast in the Patreon exclusive is out every Wednesday, audio and video. You also get early access to the public episode. Pubes get it on Monday. You will get it on Saturday morning to watch. And then there is the Patreon specials. Oh my God, they are legendary. We have got the arena show that we did in December. That massive special is now out and it's been hugely popular. There's also the restaurant takeover, the footy special, the rugby special. There's loads. All the the lock-ins. The ones where we get absolutely hammered with some of our favourite guests. It is the funniest and most chaotic podcast than we do. You only get that if you're a Patreon. Sign up at patreon.com slash have a word pod now. Start at just three quid a month and you get all of the content. Even if you're just a three quid a month there, you get all of the content we've just talked about. Please go and sign up. Become part of the army, which is over 19,000 strong now. Don't be an idiot. Join the fucking squad, mate, okay? Enjoy this episode. It's going to be a belter. Wag Wag Leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below-the-belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on I've got to get circumcised. Religious what? purposes or no? Cock yeah, purposes. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he is late in life Jewish. What? I, what? Since went to doctors this morning. Shalom. Got too much cock for me foreskin. Yeah. Mm. Oh God. And that's what he said. That's what she said. She Not for basin, but cock. <laughs> I can tell with me mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Of course, I get circumcised. Yeah, I'm gonna get me fucking skin chopped off, mate. Urgent. Is what? It urgent. Uh, she told me to self refer. There's a fellow called Peter who works in Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Called <laughs> Peter who lives in Egbert. <laughs> Genuinely, she said there's a fellow called Peter who works down in Egbert. He, he does self referrals, so you can just ring him. Are you, right. Are you wait? <laughs> right. Are you wait sounds, is he a rabbi? <laughs> that sounds dodgy. Peter Rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Rabbi. <laughs> it's a different cartoon, isn't it? Have you decided? Yeah. You're getting a cock. Is I've got gonna... to. What? It's never going to be the same again. No. Sex I mean, is never going to be the same again. Why? What if you lose you sensitivity? You lose loads of sensitivity. Do you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're, it's chopping I tell you when you gain then. sensitivity, when they've chopped your dick off and sewn it back up, that's when it'll gain a lot of sensitivity for What's about four to eight weeks. My foreskin's that tight. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it, though? We know is someone it? who's got that as well. Oh, we had that. He got the chop, didn't he? Oh. Josh. Did he? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Me, me helmet's just massive. Again, did she use the word helmet? So I told her what's been going on. I've been getting a bit of pain when I pull my skin back. And it just feels dead tight. So during when, sex or just to have a look? Hello. Uh, uh, bit during sex and also when I'm washing it. You know when you wash your oh, car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, mine's ready so to So I wash. told her and like I felt like she was being quite rude. 
Because she was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And gagging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then she had a look and she went, yeah, I knew what it would be. She went, what's happened is you've got a really tight foreskin, so every time you pull it back, it's stretching it. And then the stretch is cracking it. And then the crack is like, oh, I've done that. And yeah. that hurts oh, like yeah. a motherfucker. But, yeah, but she, man loosened again. She went, so, and then the crack, like, y- when you're pissing, you're stinging it because oh, the piss is going mate. through the... It hurts so much, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, and she went, she went, you can just use... So she gave me a cream. She was like, this cream will help. And if you use, like, a lot of lube when you're having sex and stuff. Which he does. That'll help. Um, <laughs> no, women are normally dripping for me, you know what I mean? Um, so... <laughs> what do you mean? I do, because <laughs> you keep telling me. She said, you can moisturise. She went, but the... the the That's most why people you've been moisturizing your cock. No, but I mean, yeah. Do you reckon they're related? No. Right. I was, yeah, I, I was sort of moisturizing because it it's been a bit tight. He's anyway. not you getting circumcised because he's got a dry cock, Carl. No, he might. No, I am. No, I am. No, I am. What? I'm getting moisture. I'm, I'm getting circumcised because I've got a dry cock. No, that's not. I mean, that could may, maybe doesn't help, but your cock being dry is not. It's because it's enlarged, <laughs> isn't it? You've got not enough skin. For your bell end. For me, for But it's not just a fucking dry issue, is it? Adam, you might have been using anti aging cream and it's made your skin more He's, tall. He has been using anti aging cream, I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my cock is white, mate. <laughs> Did I say Asian? Oh, and if it, was, if it was black, it wouldn't crack. <laughs> oh. Oh, unlucky. I know that it's like a bitch that I've done that. Like, the, yeah. when it, oh, woo! Yeah. Because I, like, my health anxiety has been through the roof for the past, like, few days because I've been like, what if I've got like something serious along with my cock? She was like, it's just too big, love. You've got That's your problem. <laughs> Elephantitis of the dick. <laughs> too big. Go and speak to Peter. You know, what was, you know what was really unprofessional is when he whipped it out, she clapped. She was like, <laughs> that was a dick hitting the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I've got to get my hood cut off. They ask you if you want to keep it. <laughs> Can you going to keep it? <laughs> some, people, some people fry it and eat yeah. it. Is it ironic that we came out to where's the hooda in the arena? <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Shall I get it and put it on the shelf? Yes. Oh, Next God. to Frankel's have we, jizz. <laughs> have we got enough space? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a big foreskin, that's the problem. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't bring your foreskin in here in a jar. <laughs> Please do. You want me to though? Absolutely. No. Yeah. I don't want to see uh, your pickled sh- foreskin. Shareholders vote. Yay! And it goes on Carl's desk. The cock... Oh, oh the, the cock, cock is in. I don't know. <laughs> oh, because you look at Finn. <laughs> oh. You have no power here. Oh, well, my boy. When, when, what's the timeline? When's Peter free? <laughs> 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 By the way, I'm not having this. Yeah, you're going to need your, doc, uh, your dick chopped off. And <laughs> when's that going to be? I don't know. We'll give Peter a belt. There's his number. Like, it sounds... I, I want to go booper He's from a real out, doctor. A... Yeah, no, he is. He's a private doctor in uh, Egbert. Dr. P? Yeah. yeah. Is it a home visit? I don't know. What? I haven't rang him yet. A but apparently visit? it's four weeks of no pussy and no wanking. <laughs> <laughs> Before or after? After. I can fuck what do you like... mean? Before? He's not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Before, how does Peter do this? You need to be revved up here, kid. Come Ooh, here, ready. Four weeks, no jizz with a podcast. He's just running to Egbert. Da, 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 da. Right, listen, this is going to be bad. Can we do I'm worried daddies? about you. Right, do you know like when someone gets cancer and all their mates shave their head? I am not not wanking on having in. sex. Yeah, I'm in. No wanking I'll, in four weeks. I'll get a circ. I'll get circums. Oh, I already am. No, oh, no, 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 no. Solid, I think he meant no, solidarity, no brother. Wanking for four weeks. Yeah, cool. Celibacy, a team celibacy to help me through it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I, I think Laura will agree. Um, <laughs> it's just whether I can hold firm. Four days is a lot. Four weeks. Sorry? Four weeks. No, 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 no. I think Come on, got... we can all do it. These are broken. Tight. Come on. Yeah, I'll do it, yeah. If you all start slimming world of me. Okay. I genuinely You'll need to. You'll start slimming world of me if I don't yeah. do the jizz for four I weeks. told you last week I'd come with you. You said no. Yeah, no, you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> you? That was a surprise, bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's fear, mate. That's your dick burping. You'll be all right, lad. Don't worry. It, it, it'll look nicer anyway, won't it? Yeah. Surely it looks nicer. They do look nicer. <laughs> like what? They do. That's the fucking wound bruiser. No. Oh, oh God. Desk. More dildos. Go on. Off he goes for his dildo. Oh, that's sick. Oh, do you think you can get a non-circumcised dildo? Should you do that on purpose? It looked like you yeah. literally picked up and knocked it off. <laughs> like, right. That's what my dick's going to look like. Yeah. 
Have they this is it what my you? dick is going to look like. For the audio listeners, Adam has a realistic sized dick in his hands. Thanks to Love Honey, our new favourite sponsor. Oh, yeah, we're sponsored by Love Honey now. Yeah, you'll see the sponsor later yeah, in the know, episode. Yeah, they know. Wow. <sighs> Just can we get this dildo off the fucking table? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so heavy. Um, well, good luck to you. And I, 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 yeah, I've got health anxiety for you. No, I feel fine about it. I feel better. I feel like a weight's been lifted. It will be. And in a way it has. Mm. <laughs> it's three pounds, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, cool. I, I, what, what? It's going to be tricky though, isn't it? Four weeks. What's the longest you've ever gone without some sort of Four hours. spooge? Yeah. Yeah. Just I don't try. think there's a day I haven't come since I was like 12. Oh, <laughs> try and have dirty dreams and jizzing them, because then you're not doing it, are you? Double Jeffrey. It's, it's not yeah. wrong with jizzing, I think it's the friction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So that's hour six. Like if someone could mind fuck me, that would work. That'd be fine. You're uh, allowed to mind fuck for the four weeks, but that's it. Yeah, but you don't <laughs> even want to get a boner, really. No. So, you know, in your, like a wet dream, you still no have an erection, don't you? Weeks, you need a cone. Mm-hmm. What? You need a cone ah. like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> On the hands, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a Labrador has had stitches in his ear. Come on. Come on, Jasper. You're not allowed to scratch that. Cone your <laughs> cock off like it's on the motorway. It's the right thing to do. I mean, if the doctor said it is, yeah. Yeah. She didn't say anything. She said she recognised yeah, yeah. him. Go down, see, P- see Pete's in Edward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sound. You'll recognise him. He's got a coat and boots. <laughs> <laughs> but it's white. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, good luck. Send in any information or best wishes to have a word part at gmail.com. I'd like to know more about this without researching it on the internet. Can we research it via our listeners? Any adult circumcision stories, uh, the email is now open. Because my dad got um, circumcised at 19, and that's the reason I got circumcised uh, when I was a kid, because he was like, I don't want my kid going through that. But he was a, a horny fucker. Uh, this is not to do what we've been talking about, but can I put a call out? Can you email in to haveawordpod at gmail.com with the funniest nicknames of people you know in your life or went to school with and why they had that nickname? We did it ages ago, but we've got so many more listeners now. I just think that could be really funny. Right. And we're, we're looking for more sort of uh, things for people to write in about. Yeah. And if you, can beat, if you can beat Peter Rabbi, I'll be impressed. <laughs> Yeah, nicknames of people you went to school with, people in your life now, and the reason they've got that nickname. I think it'd be really funny if we read some of them out. So, good. You're dealing with it really well. Yeah. Talking of slimming world, Carl. Mmm, smooth. You're looking very slim. Uh, I've lost, since last Tuesday when I started, I've lost six pounds. That's a pound off half a stone. It's just paying for the meeting. That's two of Adam's foreskins. Because it's it's five pounds, obviously. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, six pounds off. Six pounds off. Yeah, you can't get slimmer of the week though in your first week because you have to have had a loss in a week before to win it. And I couldn't have had a loss. Last oh, week. on a techers, mm. they don't want the old because uh, it's easier the first week, is it? But yeah, because you lose water weight and your you, your body's changing that much that you can just. Do you know what you should have done? Should have well, just lost a pound first week and then lost the seven the week after. Oh yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah. as a former champ, that's that's the way you do it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Former champ. Yeah. Real two thousand four. If you slimmer of the week. Everyone brings scran in. Like, you can eat, like, good scran. Put it in a basket, and then the slimmer of the week wins the b- scran that's basket. A, that's fucking stupid, isn't it? Oh, well done on not A basket of food? Now go and eat all of this, you big mm, fat it's bitch. It's like fruit, isn't it? Lots of fruit. Yeah, it's all, like, stuff that you can eat. So basically saving your money in the week. Uh, do you all go and get on it afterwards when the meeting's finished? Just go, <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, girls, come on. They go, go to on the smash. They all went to the buffet. No, the no, they're all on B, can't they? It may, if I was doing Slimming World competitively, get on the fucking shite. <laughs> As a basket of shite. When, you say, when they go, say, oh, Carl, you've lost this. Well done. You go, what have you done? I'm going to say next week. I was just fucking on the shite. On Lemo, lad. Lemo. Oh, please just do that sad. Film I can't film me. Why? I want to. Because people will not want to be filmed. No, just film you like Francis Bourgeois. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six pounds. Oh, I'm on the shite. Oh, she's massive. Oh. Carl, can you please leave the group? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> As Sheila comes in, pretend it's like some fucking train that he jizzes over. But I've broke, <gasps> I've broke the cycle of sugar, I think, and I'm made <gasps> up. Yeah. Are you getting headaches? No. Oh. It feels good. I'm so happy that I'm not like... You're out of the sugar cycle? Sugar. It took me like five days. Apparently I've stopped take, drinking sugary drinks. Apparently it takes two <laughs> weeks. That's my downfall. 
He's having sugar-free Feb. Apparently it takes it. two weeks to get properly through it, but I'm, 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 what, eight days in now. Right, cool. Yeah. So he's not going to be wanking. You're not eating fucking treats. I'm still wanking now. Yeah. Are you going to get more in before the op? Yeah. <laughs> really clear the palate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know like when you're going on a diet on Monday, so on the Sunday you'd have a fucking feast? <laughs> <laughs> How many wanks you having? I'm going to have loads of wanks and a gangbang. And I'll be like, Peter, I'm ready. Chaff to fall. Yeah. Made oh. bacon ribs last night. Oh, they looked heavy. Right. And that sugar, sugar back bacon. Yeah, sugar pit bacon ribs. Sugar pit oh, bacon. Not the ribs. chops, the ribs. We met a listener uh, who won best steak in Europe. What? Yeah, he won the competition. He won best steak in Europe. He's a listener. He's a patron, actually. Oh, uh, smoke faced Pete, is it? We're getting that right. I'm sorry. Smoke faced Pete. Pete's getting busy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> if we get that wrong, sorry, lad, but uh, check him out on Instagram and he makes the best. Steak in Europe. In so, a restaurant? No, like he does barbecues. Like he'll go to your house and do a barbecue. Oh, oh Pete, oh, come to oh. mine, lad. Well, he said we can go. So he's inviting me to Wiz. So I'm going to Wiz next month with Serekin. He's going to make us a fucking heavy steak. Oh, oh no, I'm coming up. with you. Fuck Serekin off. Yeah, we're all, we're, he, you'll come to you. We're all invited. Like he's. Mate, no, Serekin's would... not going with you. I'm coming with you. You can just come to yours. Yeah, no, I'm coming with you. But yeah, he just he goes to your house. Look, get him to come to your house. He does barbecues. I need to do a bar- barbecue this summer. Well, the house is then? finished. The garden's done. I need to get you boys round. He can do for it. a bit of a BBQ. I'm in charge Should of the food. Sm- no, no smoke face. Pete is the best steak in Europe. I'll teach him a thing or two. Yeah. Oh, Does he know about sausages? I saw one last <laughs> night. He cooked it in ch- um, cherry coke. Um, oh, come on, oh my! God. Is that how you're going to get your sugar now? Bites. Oh my God, mate. So what is that going to be a cheat day for you? Yeah, it's yeah, be yeah, a yeah. Naughty day. I went to Hickory's on Monday night. They've changed the steaks a bit. This wasn't great. We it wasn't as good. Who gets a steak from Hickory's though? Because it's an American smokehouse. A platter, mate. Yeah, but you get the fucking the platter, ribs and bastard. the fucking wings and the, the brisket. The sausages in there. Oh, a smokehouse isn't for steak. That's for like what? Steakhouse. I used to always get the brisket. That's the best. Yeah, thing the brisket's right. the best thing. Oh, well, I've been getting steak at Hickory's for ages, and it's always been get some the of platter. the best steak I've ever eaten. Get Maybe platter. I just had a, a bad one. Yeah, everyone was dead sound though. There's patrons that we're going there. Hickory's for the Super Bowl, aren't we? The one in Southport, just before Rubber Soul. Yeah, <laughs> the Southport one. Yeah, there's one in across from my old school in Preston. They've opened a Preston one, and they've taken the Anchor Pub, which is just down the road from my school, and turned it into a fucking Hickory's. Really. Weird little venue, yeah. for like I don't know. It they works. Just, I went down for food. They open, they're gonna, it's fucking they've exactly. smashed it, haven't they? They've the got like eight. Great, like it's so good. I need to try. Maybe it's just a one off. The steak, I just thought the steak was fine. Etta fucking loves hickories. Um, yeah, all right, cool. Next time I'll take recommendations on stuff to try. The brisket, no, just get the platter and you get brisket. all the meat. Yeah, but I, I don't know, what's the, how much food is that? Enough, that's more than enough, isn't it? No, yeah, but, but you no. have the meat sweats at the end, but you're like, you're, you're right, so Right, okay, happy. cool, all right. Oh, I'll give it a go. God, so we're getting smoke face Pete for at least one fucking have a word name. about I'm sorry if that's not his name. But uh, he comes to your house and does barbecues, or I say, I can go to his house. Right, I'm in. I'm in. Smoke face Gorilla. <laughs> oh, it's Tom. <laughs> Call this poor Peter Jesus chat. Christ. Sorry, Tom. Go to Egberth, get your dick chopped <laughs> off, and get a steak. <laughs> He'll smoke, fry it up. Smoke face Gorilla, as in Gorilla Grill. Right, yeah, smoke Tom face griller. All right, cool. Do you know when, <laughs> genuinely, if I'm hosting something, the last thing I want to do is make food. I'd love someone like smoke face Pete. Well, if he's not available, I'll do it. I'm a good barbecue of me. Right. Well, to be fair, I'm with getting Christmas into me dinner, cooking again. Yeah. I'm really getting into me cooking again. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Okay. When's the show starting? I actually do want to start doing Rose, the videos of it because I'm. Rose I'm, recipes? Yeah. Piss it. Fuck off. <laughs> Swat. Yeah. You've got that lovely t-shirt you can wear. I mean, it is white, so it's not the best to cook in, but... I just... I don't I hate making food. Me too. I'm so crap at it. Yeah, I love it. Are you enjoying it because of Slimming Word that you've got a focus? You've got, like... When you do a diet, what I found was... I don't know, because you, you, you've you almost got a remit to work to, and then there's recipes and whatnot. Yeah, you, it makes it easier. Looks nice. I easy. made my own wedges, mate. Yeah. Didn't get frozen wedges, got spuds, chopped them, air fried them with all my own seasoning. That's stuffing. My own homemade peppercorn sauce with brandy in it. Sugar pit bacon. We made our own zinger burger. What do, you want, what do you want me to do, Adam, in response? I don't I want like, you to be happy for me. Look at this. Bar. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. Chicken, bacon, and stuffing sandwich with a gravy dip. That doesn't look as good. That's heavy. 
That's better. Show the camera. You're a fucking idiot. What? Show, Show the, the camera. camera. Stuff in his... Can't really see it because it's all like, it's a video. The heavy Alan. The second one looks fucking horrible. <laughs> you just don't know. I'm not like a Michelin starred chef, all right? But what you I'm doing sure is like dirty stuff. Right. Like sandwiches, wings, brisket. Dirty sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> messy, okay, messy yeah. food. Do you know why it's called Michelin, don't you? It's, uh, the tyre company the sponsoring it. Yeah, but you know why? Go on. They used to put the restaurants out of town. The good restaurants for people so you to, to drive to their roads, ruin your tires. You need new tires. Oh, nice, clever. Okay, that's old school. Do they still sponsor them? Long, yeah, yeah. Michelin still. Live. I couldn't believe it was the same company when I found out. I only found out it was eighteen months ago. Yeah. All right, they should never change that because when they change the sponsorship or something, it fucks with me. Oh, I it, still want the Edinburgh Comedy Award to be called the, the Perrier. Oh. The Perrier was. It was just the Perrier because it sounds sick. But it was just what it always was when I was growing up. Like, it's so shit that the League Cup has changed sponsorship so many times. The Carabao meat. It's the Carlin in my Coca-Cola, Carlin, Worthington meat. Rumbelows. What a lot of shite. The milk. The Coca-Cola cup. That's Fuck sick. off. No, that's sick. I mean, that was sick, but it lasted five years. The Worthington cup meat. The Worthington I cup. I remember the 2001 Worthington cup. The Michael Owen beat uh, oh. Man United pretty much. Was it Man United? And then they beat Arsenal in the FA Cup final. Was that your weird treble where you beat Alaves yeah. in the UEFA? The only real treble in football. <laughs> Five. You mean the wonky treble? Wasn't it five? Did you win the Chelsea Shield and the Super Cup as well? Maybe. No, that's not five. No, but it's five trophies. That's season. three point two, in it. Yeah, I'm not yeah, it's like an extra two games, but no, it's five. No, the it's the first not. quintuple winners of all time. Shut <laughs> up. up. Didn't want the Champions League. Too much travel. <laughs> um, all right, okay, yeah. Let's not talk football. I've never been to a Michelin restaurant. I can't. I, even, I can't. I I've been to a few. Yeah. Been to the kitchen in Edinburgh by Tom Kitchen. Been to Muse Pete in kitchen. London by Tom Aitken. Pete Aitken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really and I've been to you. the River Cafe in Brooklyn, New York. The River Cafe. They all sound not good, don't it? The They're kitchen, the up. River Cafe. They sound standard. They don't need to sound good. Well, just, just the food's like fucking piss it. Yeah. What I went to one in Iceland and the lamb was about four million pounds, but it was like... How much actually was it? Because for two of us, like north of... Like 500. What? But it's my 21st birthday. In Iceland? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not that expensive for a Michelin star. It is when you're 21. You just need 21 years of age. Yeah, but for Michelin star, I mean, like. No, no. There's a Michelin star restu in restaurant Iceland. in Iceland. Like a house. How, how is Iceland? Uh, I hear it's the most expensive country in the world to go to. But it, there's not, it's not like the Reykjavik's not big skyscrapers or anything. It's quite. You can, you can walk around Reykjavik in 15 minutes. Right, it feels like, a, the pictures I've seen, it looks like a little... Just, it's a town. So a guy came to the CCC to watch the comedy and said that he could get us over to do a gig in Iceland. And although it sounds absolutely mental, I sort of want to take up the opportunities yeah, to do gigs like this. I mean, Even if you go Lagoon. and it's mental and it doesn't really work, going to Oslo that time was fucking brilliant. I want to tick off all of these places just for one gig. When we're going to Nashville, there's a chance we're going to get to do a gig. I don't know how it's going to go. Love to do a gig in Nashville. I want to say I've done all these things. Reykjavik, I fancy. I want to visit, but I'd also love to try a gig. Tumla in Amsterdam. We should have tried to go there one night when we were there. Too busy at sex shows. Literally sitting there going, this would make a fucking great room for comedy. Yeah, it would have. It Honestly, it was such a quality room. For a preview, that room would be unbelievable. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> and it genuinely was tight. Reykjavik's beautiful, though, and you should go. And you can do it, in, so you can walk around it in 15, 20 I want to do Iceland in December this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking, you've got gaps and you need to <laughs> fill them. Do it after December, when there's more snow. Good. Where's top of your list? Canada. Oh, Canada's next. Mykonos. Yeah, we've got your, you're already booked no, in though, that, aren't you? What's, what's after that? Canada's what's... up there for me. Um, Bora Bora. That's honeymoon stuff though, isn't it? Yeah, I said that about the Maldives, and we said, oh, fuck, I just want to go. Yeah, I do want to go to the Maldives. I want to see again. India. Yeah, I really want to see India. Canada's top, though. I want to do Canada. Canada just looks fucking My incredible. best mate's in South Africa. That's definitely on the Italy list of places I want to well. see. I've never been to Italy, and I want to oh do... Oh, my God, it's beautiful. Like Lake Cuomo and... Lake Cuomo? There's a U in it. Yeah, and Ruom. <laughs> <laughs> Mulan's good to film. Mulan. Sicily. Oh, honestly. Have you seen them? I've been to the stadium. Into Mulan and AC Mulan. <laughs> it's a hell of a derby. <laughs> now you need to go to Venice. Venice is so romantic if you go with a couple. Oh, Make yeah. a man out of you. I just, I want to see like really pretty mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Venice is absolutely beautiful. Como's the best though, isn't it? Like Como. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I want to go to Sicily. See George mm, Clooney. Mm, 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 mm. Fucking Mulan's an absolute George. banger. Where do you want to go, Dan? Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Where, Where do you, you want to go, Dan? I want to go Murphy. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I want to go anywhere. India. India's well up on my list. Still never done Thailand. I never did any of the traveling, you know, like the gap years, Southeast Asia. Neither have I. I That's found, why I'm doing it I found year. a comedy club and then went, I want to do this. So I've do both. when my mates went to do like fucking Australia, Fiji, Vietnam, Thailand, I've not done any of that. Big week though. Yeah, it's a big week. It's a long <laughs> that's like, I take, I've got I, literally, that's the amount of time I've got. I've got a gap week. I might take one. A listener offered me his time share in Fiji next year. <laughs> what? A listener. You are on the fucking make, you, aren't you, mate? Offered me his time. Yeah, yeah, you can get a free steak made, you know, <laughs> discount Carl 10, free circumcisions, Pete, <laughs> down in Egbert. He's giving us free steak. He's just, I, spoke, I met him. Yeah, yeah. guy, he's a listener, Patreon. Tom, not Pete, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was bevied, like, really bevied. I am going skiing tomorrow, though. Oh, yes. You are going skiing. Mm. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've not skied for about six years. Is it not I've got late? a really good year to travel ahead. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, you're right. Let's talk no, about on. you. Go no, on. no, no. No, it's all right. No. Adam, you going we, skiing? No. No, 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 no. We've got to hear about Adam's travel plans again. Sorry. Tune us in. No, I'm not going there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Tune no, go on, where you going? Tell us about your fucking, you know, your ice skating and that. No, because you don't give a fuck. Are you going fine. There's no point. <laughs> no, I do there's, no, there's no point. As long as you're happy, I'm I happy. care, Dan, and the listeners care. What it's are you doing? all about me, Dan. <laughs> 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 what are you doing with skiing? <laughs> <laughs> Guess. Uh, snowboarding. No, I'm going to go skiing. We it, could have gone, couldn't we? We could have made, made that happen. I'm going with my best mate Bondi from school best and I'm taking mate, my it, sister. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 We're going yeah. tomorrow, we're going to flying to Geneva and going up to Morzine where I did those gigs where the guy won the lottery in uh Clenethly. No, not Clenethly. Clandidno. Won the lottery oh, and then spent six months getting pestered by his mates in his hometown and went, Do you know what? I can't live like this. Got a massive loan out with a French bank and built a massive chalet in uh, Morzine. So it's about an hour and 15 minutes up from Geneva, so which is relatively short transfer time. So he used to get us out there. He'd give us four days board, four days ski passes, rental. So you had a little holiday and all he wanted in return four days. was like one gig. So we just did one gig. start skiing straight away. You what? Why are you going to be bored for four days? <laughs> start skiing straight nailed away. It. You've nailed it. Of course you're skiing, you're not snowboarding. Yeah, for four days. You yeah. skis. You've nailed it. It's all good work, boys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Back to Adam. Um, Mykonos. Can't wait for that. Can't wait either. I'm doing uh, Mexico and Cuba back to back in the summer as well. Gonna have what? a Havana Cuba's and cigar. New? When did you say about Tag Cuba? that onto the I Mexico fucking hope, I hope Ishan's free. Because that fucking... I'm, I'm not missing any episodes. I'm flying back. From Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> I missed like one cigars. or two. What? Bring some cigars on. I'm going to smoke some while I'm there. Ooh, wow. I want to get a linen suit. Some nice sunglasses and a big cigar. I can see the photograph already. Could you bring us back some cocaine? <laughs> Could you bring us back some cocaine? I bet Cuba's got good cocaine. Yeah. I don't want to travel with drugs, though. Oh, oh no, yeah. that is a sensible answer. Can you get me something from the Guantanamo Bay gift shop? Yeah. Also, you smuggling drugs wouldn't be easy, would it, with your IBS? You're not the first person to think of. I don't want to have a to put it in. What? Oh. Oh, some yeah. people smuggle drugs, drugs in the car, don't they? Do they? Yeah. Yeah, Ishan did, didn't he? No, oh, that's that's very good. Good. <laughs> I love it how we've confabulated that. That's memory. good though. If you've got a big foreskin, bam, no bouncers pulling your skin back. I could put ecstasy in me in my foreskin right now, and I haven't got enough foreskin. What? You with a big foreskin could smuggle foreskin. I reckon I can fix hang on, hang on. Gammies. You know when you smuggle drugs, you've, it, they've got to be in a plastic <laughs> bag, otherwise you are going to ingest like pills through your dick hole. Yeah, you have a good They'll just yeah. No, I won't put it in my dick hole, just in my foreskin. They go through your skin, though. It's a permeable membrane. Oh. Oh. I know it's semi-permeable. How big's your foreskin? I'm now thinking you don't need the circumcision. If you can drug smuggle with just your fucking flappy foreskin. Um, I mean, how many foreskin, you reckon on you top fit? of my cock is probably about half the size of that pen lid. I've got like that much extra foreskin. All right, cool. Just a couple of pills then. Just tonight. Yeah. yeah, you can't deal. You can just... You yeah, just, just for me, innit? Just personal use. You can't do you, they can't do you for that either. Double Jeffrey. They can do you for possession. Depends how much you've got. 
Surely less drugs. than 10 Gary's up your bugger. They're not going to put you in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I know that's... Like, I think if you get 10 Gary's in your foreskin, you're just going to be applauded. Like, amazing. That's what I mean. Fucking Nella the elephant over here. Imagine... Oh. Can anyone's ever pleaded ignorance with stuff like that? You got, like, pills found in your cock? Oh, I don't know. They got the... Yeah, I don't think that works a lot I've of the time with the like, law. What? They're not mine. Just say they're not yours. Yeah, that doesn't work. How, Why? Do, how do you think that works? No, do you have it in your pocket? Just say, I don't put them there. And that sounds insane. Yeah, it does sound insane. And, and the police are going to convict you, aren't they, for and possession just say, well, that's with intent to supply? No, say they're not mine. This isn't even my coat. You know, Wear someone else's coat. Right, cool. <laughs> I love it. Do you genuinely think that'll get you it off? It does my head in. What? Because you might. it might happen. I could walk past you and put 10 gallons in your pocket and then ring the blood and you're done. Yeah, you could. You, you could get away with possession of a firearm. Oh, fuck. I didn't put that there. There's no, a gun in your pocket. There's weight in that, isn't there? Oh, there's weight in it. No, you'd have felt that. You're going to prison. Yeah. No, you, you, you can't. You can't have a gun ignorance up, your, of, up your belly. <laughs> ignorant, in, ignorant, what is it? Ignorance <laughs> of the law doesn't get you out of the laws. That's not what the fucking saying is. But you can't just plead ignorance to a law. You can't be like, I was doing 50. I didn't know it was 30. It doesn't work like that. You can't just be like, I no, don't know. Does, you There's have to pills get a in my dick. Where you learn. What? You get a license where you learn. So you can't be ignorant. You don't get taught how to not. You can't use fucking... ignorance as a defense against breaking the law. Bollocks. You, you can't be in a country and go, I didn't know that was a law here. You'll still get prosecuted. Because otherwise, I don't know, you know. every defense would be, I didn't know that was a law. Well, why didn't you know? I've never studied law. I'm free. Thank you. <laughs> Can I have my 10 pills to put back in my dick? Thank you very much. I just don't think no one's, I think no one's tried that defense so that we don't know it <laughs> Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like All those defense one. attorneys. Not like murder, but something like robbing a bike. Just say No it. one has ever told me I can't smash that guy's head in with a fucking brick. Yeah? So Where was I taught that in school? Oh, is this illegal? Sorry. Have is it? it a problem? <laughs> there you go. There now you go. it's illegal. <laughs> now it's a problem. Adam gets to threatening with his uh, legal defense really quick. Oh, it's no, not no. a threat. It's a question. I'm not po well, is it a problem? I don't even know how to shoot this. Pointed directly at your chest, officer. Nice. <laughs> I put the pills back in my foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be a. And then you got to argue. And if you argue good enough, you get off it. I, I've always thought it's mad that it's <laughs> illegal to kill yourself. Yeah, that's why it's called committing suicide. Yeah. What? It's illegal to kill yourself. No, not it? anymore. It used to be. No, it still is. No, it's not. What do you mean? Because otherwise you go to prison for attempted suicide, wouldn't you? Yeah, which you don't. It used to be. That's why it's called committing suicide. It's not legal. Although, if you try and top yourself in a very dangerous situation where other people's lives are at risk, what's the legal ramifications there? I told you this before. If I ever got to the point where I felt suicidal, I am causing <laughs> problems for people. <laughs> Op opening a door on a plane. Yeah, or like just off a building. Holding like two grenades, so as I land, <laughs> <laughs> wow, exploding the air as well. Wow, I'd be fucking spectacular, though, wouldn't it? Wow, at the Tory party conference, you say you die twice when you die, and the last time someone says your name, if you're the guy who jumped off the live building with two grenades, you will oh, live forever in memory. No, you don't want to kill scouts, don't kill your own. Why? Tory party conference, top yourself there, Adam, for the love of fuck. But if I've got to the point I'm suicidal, I don't respect anyone else, do I? Because they don't respect me, otherwise I wouldn't be suicidal. <laughs> That's such an insane, <laughs> insane way of thinking. If I'm killing myself, I'm the best person in the world. So if I'm killing myself, I must fucking hate everybody else. <laughs> so I'm taking grenades, I'm going down a fucking primary school. Fuck No, that. not kids. That's audible. How do you know Mom, there's not Dad. kids at the bottom Daniel. of the live building? Oh, do you know there's Tuesday kids in the afternoon and maybe midday? You always manage to take things too far, you. Yeah, I do, yeah. Well, like fireworks out. in your hand, like a two Roman can't. Oh, what's the spinny ones? Catherine wheels. Yes. Jumping off fucking goodbye, crew wheel. <laughs> what's that in the sky? Is it a fucking super? You can't. Is it, is it a <laughs> Superman? <laughs> is, that a, is that a super soaker? What's that, what, what's that kid wearing? An AC Mulan shirt? <laughs> no, Ibra, I'd, Ibrahimovic. I'd leave all mad cryptic shit, me. What's what? Like, if, if, if it came to the worst and it ended up happening, I'd leave, like, a letter going, it was him. Or, like, something mad. Mad cryptic. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> and that's legally binding. 
Oh, you know I, mean? I would leave a like a thing if you want to know why I've done this. Here's some clues. Yeah. And like in school, it was like turns page forty two, and you didn't. It was like turns page thirty one, <laughs> and you just went back and it's cocks in your mouth. Your no, <laughs> I've got one for you, Carl. You go to the Slimmer World meeting, chop your own head off on the scales. Slimmer of the week. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, there you go. Seven I'd, pounds gone. So what I'd do? I'd leave a note that said George shoots Lenny, and if you get that, you haven't read the Mason Man. Bam, boomed. <laughs> What's your dying like? You That's your dying legacy. Because you, you put it on the news. of mice and men for millions. You put it on the news and all kids would see it and go, oh, ruined it. And all the teachers would be gutted. <laughs> What's your, you can't go, goodbye, cruel world. That's hacky, isn't it? Yeah. What you? What are you going for? You off fucking the, pricks. Off the live bu building. Jedi With a megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I said, you fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> you hit them. <laughs> they got megaphones. Oh, that! By the way, can we do it on Patreon? If you're going to top yourself, just will like real speed. I'd love that. Come on, let's get it on. Yeah, it's content. But I would go it? spectacular. I'd want it to be news. Do you know what I mean? Just go for what? Go mad? What? Shallow end of the pool. <laughs> oh, oh there's kids in pools. Ah, oh, no, not no. A David Lloyd after 8 p.m. Oh, right? nice, nice. Adult pool, sexy pool. <laughs> Nice. No, that Bill Bear bit, the, my, my favourite bit of stand-up ever. The, the helicopter. helicopter. Oh. Like, that is how to go, if you can. Yeah? Jump out of a helicopter. Oh, shit. If you've not seen that bit, the way he tells it from both sides the is so fucking ever, beautiful. Oh, Billy fucking red nuts. God bless him. God, I hope we get him on the couch one day. One day, lad. <laughs> All right, lads. Break time. Break it down. Valentine's Day is coming. Oh, and we've got a treat for you and your lady this or your partner. This is my absolute favourite sponsor. It's Love Honey, the world's biggest collection of cock and pussy toys <laughs> and lingerie. <laughs> it's the world's biggest online sex toy and lingerie store. Oh, this is good stuff. I mean, I don't know why. Why have I been given the clit sucker? Because you should take it home and suck your wife's clip with who it. don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this is the rose yeah, obviously your, your, your partner's gonna prefer having a rose like this than a, yeah. a ro like roses die i don't know what you know about this flowers they don't last very long you give them like oh lovely and then they, a, a week later they're gone this is going to be sucking their clit for decades Just mate. a charge right on top of that you got this the arc wave pow why is it called a pow first of all open that put your cock in there open that put your cock in there it's called a pow because you're like pow Pow! Pow! The Arcwave Pow! It's the man's version of this. These are the two Valentine's Day gifts that you should be getting. If you're a missus, get this and give it to your fella. If you're a fella, get that. Give it to your missus. Everyone can use sex toys, even animals. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It's Peter, oh, the other oh, weird snake. Fucking hell, mate. And his absolute that? wound bruiser of a cock. Jesus fucking Christ, mate. On top of that, you know, they've sent us loads of stuff. This is a toy cleaner. You can clean your action man with that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the butt tingler, the birthday cake flavored I'm lube. That. There you go. That's Get it, it, maybe the birthday's coming oh, up. Oh, you sexy Get off. snake! Get off! <laughs> oh. And if you've got a snake that wants to get a bit kinky, put Ooh. this whip in its mouth and get to spank your ass with it. Oh, Use yes. our code WORD20 for 20% off Love Honey site wide for a, for a limited, limited time. time. Limited time. Valentine's Day is coming up. Up your sex game. Get yourself all of this stuff. There's so much more to get. Oh, There's yeah. fancy dress stuff. I'm going to get a bit of that. You know what I mean? Just for me, I'm going to wank in the mirror <laughs> with the Arcwave Pow. Happy Valentine's Day. Love Honey is the absolute gear. We're Word made up 20. on board as a sponsor. Word 20 is the code. Look at my new tongue. <laughs> um, it's time for we, top five. Hey, five. Hey. Right into it. This was going to be a podcast all on its own, but you know what? We've just decided it's going to be a feature because we love you and you deserve a podcast within a podcast. And also, we're sick and we're lazy. And there's music that you can't hear. That's new. Yeah. New music. Finn has been working overtime. Did you do it? No, oh. it's the chart music. The old chart music. In at five. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Top five front men of all time. We've all got two each. Three. Be a making us soon. Three each. Um Well, yeah, because we're trying having to put together five. a list of top five. We all pick two and we all pick the same two. There's only two. We need five. And I listen. We all love music, don't we? We're I'm all, a music man. We're all coming from far, far away. away. Yeah, yeah. What can you play? Dovecot. What's that? I can't play a dovecot. Yeah, no. that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't think Finn 
Uh, does Finn's opinion count I as much here? He knows about music. Is he too young? Yeah. Yeah, he's too he's young. He's only seen like Bieber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I've, don't remember always, the I've you don't remember them. the old bands. No. Before I don't know anything uh, before the Sugar Babes. No. Which iteration of the Sugar Babes? Yeah. Mucha buena. The the one with the one from Eurovision, Jade. So like two thousand and nine. The blonde one. I know. Yeah. Heidi I, I, I was, was my uh, cousin's best mate at school. I know she's a blonde yeah. one, isn't she? But she didn't take it up the mutia. Bueno. That's actually true as well. Our Katie was best mate with Heidi. Yeah. At school in Vizach. Can I get the obvious one out the way that we've surely all got? Uh, Hanson, the yeah. lead singer no, of Hanson. Uh, mm. You go first, Carl. Oh. Who's your first pick for top five? Surely we've all got this one. It's Mr. Freddie Mercury. Oh, oh yeah, I've got him, yeah. I mean, Things he's... he did for the gays as well as music. Gotta be in there. What did he do for the gays? He made it acceptable to be bummed. <laughs> That's Carl of Madison, isn't it? You <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean, days. no? Did he? Homophobia to this he? day is was rampant, man. Yeah, okay. But it would be a lot worse if it was not for Freddie Mercury. Because everyone was like, I want to be like him. And he was like, I'd take it up the arse, by the way. And they were like, oh, wasn't maybe. He, wasn't he a closeted homosexual yeah, even to the while. point? Where he, he had a wife. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but posthumously. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because he died of AIDS. Yeah. 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 Which isn't just. No, you can get that no matter what. Your sexual orientation. <laughs> You can also get it if you're chopping chimp meat and you accidentally cut your finger. He was doing that a lot. <laughs> yeah, he did. He had that. Um, <laughs> he had gorilla. He was the original gorilla, wasn't he? Freddy's gorilla. Top. Smoke face gorilla. Smoke face gorilla. Yeah. He was. Uh, he came, Freddie Mercury used to come round your house <laughs> and do house. chopped up gorilla. Lovely yeah. BBQ. But he is. He dabbled in the bumholes, did our Freddy. <laughs> Leave it. Just walk away. It. Walk away. It's not what he's remembered for. Dabbled this is not. Why is he one of the best lead singers ever? Because he dabbled in the bum holes. <laughs> Very famous gay. And he made me hate them less. He made me hate them less, but I think I, I reckon a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, it's literally. I hate anyone. A footnote I hate in two way, people, actually. Way the be, why he's the best lead singer. Amazing lead singer. Never mind about Live Aid. No, but his legacy is important, isn't it? Was it Live Aid or Band Aid? Which one was the Wembley one? Live Aid. Live one where he was just making the noises. And no, it, was it was full blown. <laughs> That one. Ew. That was very good. Yeah, it was great, but it made me. It Just gave me squeak, you know. It gave me a squeaky it was, Freddy. It was not. It, it was too good. It's pasta. <laughs> it's, oh um, but what he did with the crowd there, he had seventy thousand people just. Just going, we own. accept the gays now. <laughs> that's that's what everyone was remembering. Gayo, yeah. Gayo. Is, is everyone going to be alright with the gays from now on? Yeah. That's what you know, and that's why. He is, I think he's going to be consensus number one on this. I he also did a lot for um, fancy dress costumes. Yeah. Yeah, again. Mike stands with no bottoms. Oh my God. He, he saved the whole industry when you're like, Mike comes out, you're like, brilliant. What do you do as a comedian? Oh, yeah. that's great. And that's why I'm gay. What? Muzzies. Did loads for muzzies. Big Must teeth. Mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big teeth. Did a lot for big teeth. Um, he did a lot for big teeth. A lot for horses. Horses, yeah. Because he looked like one of And now, a lot of horses <laughs> are, <Jagger>. you know, <laughs> front men in bands, aren't they? <laughs> Same, obviously. <laughs> but I think, re like, regardless of all the, you know, dabbling and bum holes and horses. <laughs> and the gorilla meat. And the gorilla <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freddie Mercury. <laughs> He's up there. He's number one, oh, and it's it. not even close. He's up he there. He is number one, two, three, four, five, but on this list, he can't be. He's number one by a million mile. Yeah. Just want to clarify, we're doing front... Front men from or women of bands. We're not doing singers, are we? That's what we're... Not we're on the own. I think we can't have Adele. No, we're not doing like... It's not just the voice, is it's it? It's not the voice. It's not the elect electro... It's, the it's not what you've done for the gay community. No. It's <laughs> a bit, partly it's. And what you've done for animal-based barbecues. <laughs> mm, I've got a lovely little bit of monkey. <laughs> Try my monkey burger. Jasper Canada. Right? That's, no, that's Freddie Mercury. That's a great impression. Do you know, he wasn't just a closeted... Homosexual. He was a closeted Geordie. Oh, we have yeah. fun. Freddie Murray, like, I've done a boom. Oh, we. Everyone was like, wow, he's amazing. <laughs> oh, he's just, you yeah. uh, Can we put a little bit of clip of that on, please? Uh, we can't. We'll, 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 we'll get struck. Don't get struck. No. Don't oh, get okay. struck. Okay, we're not going to get struck. Don't get strucky. Fuck off. I mean, it is everyone pretty, knows you what know, it is. everyone knows what it is. Yeah. Go on, if you've not watched Queen at Live Aid, uh, go and have a little watch that performance. And I love the film. Bohemian Not Rhapsody. everyone loved the film. 
I really loved it. And it culminated in that amazing sort of 10 minute, it almost, I, you know, I wasn't there, but how yeah, authentic that felt. <laughs> no, I wasn't. In the film? I'd already retired. I was like <laughs> trying to spend more time with the grandkids in 1985. <laughs> um, I'd love to be there. That's I'd love the to be there. but I one of the gigs you know. where I could go back, I'd be there. Oh yeah. 100%. It yeah. just looked in, you know. But at the front. <laughs> it'd be shit to be at the back, wouldn't it? I think it'd be, be good shit. to be in the middle. In the, in the pit? Yeah, because like you're getting all the atmosphere, everyone's fucking revving. I'd have to be good to be a steward. Just looking at the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> what? All time gigs to go and be back and be a, a, be a Can steward. you all step back a bit, please? <laughs> yeah. <You'll, laughs> I tell you what, stand back a little bit or you'll catch Geordie. <laughs> I've been stood next to the con all day. I'm from fucking Devon. <laughs> uh, Finn, who's your first pick? And if it's Liam Gallagher, you're getting fired. It's Liam Gallagher. I, I, can, I can debate it as well. I w it wasn't going to be my first pick. My first pick's obviously Freddie Mercury, but I would say Liam Gallagher. Why? Okay. From 1994 to 1997. That's yeah, but he's not period. that old anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's not 1997 anymore. It's not, one? but I'm doing that period. I'm sure we're not doing Mick Jagger now because he's <laughs> yeah. geriatric. Yeah, because Freddie Mercury doesn't win now, you know, because <laughs> no. he's been dead 29 years. Jerry Ali will. Go on, why? Yeah, uh, Liam Gallagher. Because uh, it's so iconic, his stance and his voice is... You, you'd he was it anyway. fucking amazing. And he just stood there, but had people bouncing. <laughs> mm. See? He's got God, it. But his impressions are really cool. Yeah. Why does he do that? Uh, it's Attitude, mate. Yeah. I bet there's a, it's I bet it's a silly reason, like one gig. Behind his back, he's doing his rosary beads. He's playing. I could go into it, but it's not worth going into the... Oh, the do you know? Shy. Well, he used to hold it like that. And then one time he did it on TV, hands behind his back, and then everyone, everyone loved, loved it. it. Same with the Shein. That was one time he didn't used to sing it like that. Yeah, Shein. But yeah, 1994 to 1997, they were on the dole in '93, and then by 1996, top of the pops, they did the biggest ever UK gigs. I think that says something. Yeah, I have to admit, when I was 14, 15, they were the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I sort of grew out of it a little bit, but that doesn't mean that they weren't fucking massive. No, and iconic. And, and now, also now working class and northern. They're as big quality. as ever now. Like they're part of the part of the furniture. Them songs. Cult. Yeah. Like you. It spins everyone, me out that you absolutely knows. bum Oasis. When were you born? Ninety eight. <laughs> right. When I was born, it he went shit. All right, Liam Gallagher. You're not a big Oasis. You're not bothered by Oasis. I so. like them. Yeah. You've got to be in there. Everyone sings their songs in a sing along, don't they? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Huge. And they broke America. They're I think, fucking I think Liam Gallagher has to be the in what? there. They didn't. Yeah, they did. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With an They've got fan. three songs in America that even right. did anything. They're famous. They're pretty well known in America. Never had a number one. Or no, I know, but like, it's not like the Americans are blissfully unaware of them. They are. They they did. Not, really? They didn't. They no nothing on here. Like n oh, okay, all right, nothing all right. on here. But yeah, for here, I'd I'd say Liam. Supersonics Carl. a great film as well on Netflix. Yeah. If you want to go and watch that, yeah, watch it. All right, cool, Carl. Uh, it's your your turn. It's got to be Jagger on mm. it, just for the just for yeah. gesticulation, just for his facial expression. Like when he's all. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought like, Jagger was in the room. Yeah. <laughs> it's Kevin Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Nolan's got to be in there. <laughs> now he's a midfielder. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. It's Penny Pinus. Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> That's his argument. <laughs> no one else does that, though. <laughs> Has anyone asked about the Stones? You you love the Beatles. Are you asked about the Stones? I mean... I think they're good. They're not, they're, they don't lace the Beatles' boots, but the Beatles wouldn't be considered for this. Then None of them were... The front, front men. men. No. But Jagger's that, you know? iconic... He's not the front man. Lennon did a, a lot, half of the songs. I'd as well, say Jag is the reason for a lot of these people that are, that dance about now. I think people just used to stand there and play the guitar. So much more performative. Yeah. Harry yeah. Styles is <laughs> very Jagger, um, very Jagger inspired. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. Where does Robert Plant? I'm not saying Zeppelin comes on this. You, Voice, you, you, unbelievable. In terms of a front man, in terms of a vocal, uh, unreal. His vo voice was. Nothing, nothing like it since, apart from this new band, Greta Van Fleet, who've just copied them. Who've done a Zeppelin? Yeah, um, but Robert Plant's voice was amazing. I'm not so sure about his stage presence. 
It was they were great though, and it depends if you're going for the voice. But if we're going for that whole thing, Jagger definitely. Can I throw one out as a front man? Go on. And I've never been bothered about this band or their music, but in terms of iconic frontmen, where does Axl Rose come in there? Yeah. Because <laughs> fuck me, every you did time. Crazy frog. You are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you did. He was yeah. a little, he was a little <laughs> blue guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Axel Rose. <laughs> That's Axel Rose from Bever Beverly Hills. You cock. see his cock in the X-rated version. <laughs> what do you reckon? I think in terms of in iconic performance, is him with a shout. Adam's having an aneurysm. You're right. What's up? That is him, no, isn't it? That's Axel F. Axel F. Axel F. Is that the same thing? No. Oh, okay. Axel Rose is a man. With Axel a Foley <laughs> from Bever <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop. Is the name oh, of the character yeah, yeah. Eddie, that Murphy. Eddie Murphy plays? Yeah. So what I said, it's not Eddie Murphy in a film. Not gonna fall for no banana, no tail bump. <laughs> right. Okay. So Eddie Murphy's <laughs> in our top it. five. <laughs> That's Axl Rose. Oh. That's Axl Rose. That's Mickey Rourke. Bruce Springsteen, isn't it? Can we go Axl Rose 1988 yeah. rather than now when he looks when like your dad better. going, "Who's left a fucking eating up?" Oh, that hair, mate. Oh, mate. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. He'd fuck yeah. you, misses him. Yeah, I'd fuck him. <laughs> Not now. Do you know, like, I was way out of this, but if you were around in the 80s, I'd get into all this shit. They look quality. Is he yeah. Guns N' Roses? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the rose thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there another fella in the band called, like, John Gunn or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mike Gunn. <laughs> you know, the comedian, <laughs> the UK circuit comedian, Mike Gunn. He, he was in there. He compared them on. <laughs> It was hard. It was hard even doing live work because he was at Junglers a lot. Where John Gunn? I used to Rose. listen to Guns N' Roses Guns quite a bit. Rose. Welcome to the jungle, banger. But in terms of performance, you're gonna die. <laughs> was that a song or did you just threaten me? <laughs> it's in Welcome to the Jungle, isn't it? Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're gonna die. Bill Burr. Is that Eddie Murphy? He's <laughs> uh, a sexy man. Can I throw Welcome one out? Welcome to Go the on, throw one out. I mean, we got fun. Oh, there's been a lot of hatred. We got on. Oh, 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 you hit me! I can see it. We are the people like whatever <laughs> <laughs> you may be. Is that him? <laughs> That's John Gunn, that bit. <laughs> Alex Turner. Oh no! Ow! Oh. Oh. Ow! Oh. No, he is. Alex Turner. No, he isn't. No, he is. He's a twat, isn't he? Like no. we all like yeah, his he's music. A rock star. He's meant to be. A no, twat. he isn't. These aren't cunts, are they? Yes. No, they're not. These all do charity work, and that. He's a <laughs> fucking tit. What has Alex Turner ever done for the gay community? <laughs> Teeth, you know, community. Ax uh, Axel Rose. Alex Turner. Is the, of our generation, he's going to be like one of the most charismatic. You, don't, you only like about eight of his songs. No, I don't. I just don't like his last two shite albums. <laughs> We're not you don't even it. like I Am? No, I do. I just don't think it's the best, and it isn't the best. Shut up. By the way, when you it have had iconic great. albums and you've topped the charts, you can't have, like, especially when it comes to this, where you're going, who was amazing? You're, you're judging them at their peak, aren't they? Yeah. So, because Oasis knocked out some pretty average stuff for a couple of years, in my opinion, maybe not yours, maybe not Oasis fans, but that doesn't take away from how fucking massive they were, yeah. how iconic they were. Like, if you don't like Alex Turner's last two albums, you can still hold him up Absolutely. in this category. So I think as a front man, it's AM is his peak. Yeah, no, it, I'm not saying I don't like AM. I'm saying it's not the best. And people go, oh, it's the best. It no. is the best. No. Also, yeah. aren't they quite under, like... The Arctic Monkeys? On stage, they don't... He is Is he anymore. very charismatic? He's, he's kind of... He he's used, very... They used oh, to be just, he's gone by his 70s. They, they used to be very... Play the songs, yeah. get off. Garage now, band, isn't it? Now he's turned into okay. yeah, the front man. Who's the lead singer of Kasabian? Because I on he got held up as like... No more. Yeah, I'm not, not allowed to talk about him anymore. All right, he okay. Dogs, he still think. existed, guys. <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom Meehan. I would Tom have put Meehan. him in. I know he's been cancelled, yeah. but he's not, he's not like... He was a great... Serge is doing Serge a great Pitton job now, better. Yeah. Why has no one mentioned Ozzy Osbourne? It's the man scrans bats. The man scrans... He started COVID. Ozzy Osbourne started it back in the day. Name me one Black Sabbath song. <laughs> what? Name me one Black Sabbath song. I don't know. From that, I know him from the Osbournes. <laughs> <laughs> he was the front man of the Osbournes. <laughs> he wasn't. Sharon was. Sharon definitely was. <laughs> he scrans bat. I don't need to know a song. He changed the fucking art of performing. No one before or since has scrammed fucking um, rodents on stage. <laughs> Certainly not flying ones. <laughs> flying rodents. Yeah, Alex Turner's never eaten a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> so how can he even be top five? He is top five, though. He isn't. He, He's, is. he doesn't compete with Ozzy Osbourne. He certainly doesn't compete with Mel B. 
You don't know any of us. <laughs> she wasn't the front woman. Yes, she was. No. no. It was Jerry. Yeah. No, no, Jerry. Jerry was my crush mate. And I can tell you right now, she wasn't the front because I was fuming. She was always in the background. I'm like, what? Je I, I don't, I there think isn't it's a front not, woman it's of not Spice Girls. or Victoria. No, it's Victoria one of the other three. fucking leggy. It's Mel B. She's always, like, she's right at the start of fucking Wannabe. She's the one who's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a trigger. How do you remember just all the most mental bits of all these people's careers? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! She's, she spits the bars in Wannabe as well. Yeah. No, she's so not. So here's the story from A to B. You want to get with me? You better listen to it. That's Mel B, mate. A to B. Dropping bombs. It's a short Dropping story, that. Bars, yeah. <laughs> a to B. <laughs> Fuck off. A to C, you're back to Here's the story, A, A. It's about, you know, road recovery, roadside recovery. Um, Alex Taylor's in there, sorry. No, I'm, he isn't. I'm going to throw a lady in there. Oh, oh no. well, I'm, I'm mentioning sex I'll offenders. I'll just throw a lady in. Mel B is a lady. Go on. Oh, yeah, I know about her. <laughs> Stevie lady. Nicks. And she's shy. Oh, Stevie. Stevie Nicks. Stevie's on my list. Thank oh, you. Oh, she is. She's like a world wizard. It's just so sick of uh, that's her as a solo, solo artist. That's a solo I know. Tune. Still tune. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, here's a story. But Stevie Nicks wrote some of the most iconic ones. Dreams is a Stevie Nicks tune, and her voice is. Is Landslide a Stevie Nicks tune? Yeah, I think Bang. it is. Also, yeah. they, that's their best song. They did an absolute fucking generation worth of cocaine between them. Which In I that always one album. Still and they all fucking they had gang bangs and everything, didn't they? All like the four of them. They all fucking ate each other. Yeah, because yeah. they were all shagging each other yep. behind each other's back. True. I've seen them. She's very Shut lucky. Sit on that. Yeah, I think Mel B's got to be in the conversation. I think Stevie <laughs> Nicks. <is> <laughs> yeah. I think Stevie Nicks edges Mel B out. No. The Spice Girls no, changed the come world. On. She. When did Stevie? They Nicks were a global switch? phenomenon. They when? were big in America. The Eddie Spice Eddie? Girls. Yeah. 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 Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> so. Yeah. If we got, if, if it's between we're going on two, talent, aren't we? When did Stevie Nicks going spit bars? On talent, is Mel B it? could rap. Stevie Nicks can't. Bet you she can. Bet you she can't. <laughs> I bet she fucking can be. Mel B had body hair in a battle. <laughs> no, oh, to see that. fuck me. She three zipper. Easy. <laughs> oh, I'm, in, I'm into that. That's when I get into battle rapping. Who's your last one? Not bad. Um, I wanted to put Josh Homin from the Queens of the Stone Age because yeah. I think he's I him fucking live in, in amazing. He was Someone in brilliant. colour though. And also, he's ginger and I think it, it, he has done so much for the ginger community. To overcome that. Yeah. Yeah. I He's one, I, of, the cool, I name you one single... of the coolest gingers. I don't know that person. Oh my or god, that I've band. just forgot. Yeah, I know, but you don't know Sorry. loads of good music. I've just realised I forgot Kurt Cobain. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, thought about Kurt Cobain. Mm. I, don't know. I think that's it. Melby Edges. Didn't he awesome. blow his own head off? He Courtney did, he did. Love blew his head off. Allegedly. What about Jim Morrison? Yeah, another one. There's, there's in terms loads, of iconic it's frontman. Difficult. It's difficult. It's um, difficult. I mean, obviously, Mel B's up there. Mel B's, She's number, Mel two. B's number two. <laughs> it's Freddie Mercury, Mel what B. What about Bradley from S Club 7? He was the one doing all the fucking break dancing. Yeah, yeah, but he right. wasn't the front man, was he? That he was, was the frontest man. No, Joe. <laughs> Joe, 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 Joe man, Manera's yeah. the front yeah, man. He's not fucking boxing out all the twirlies on his head, is he? Joe no, Manera? Because Joe Manera. Joe O'Meara? Joe Manera, that one. She. It's a woman. Joe Manera? Is it? Um, oh. Ronan Keaton. Up there, I think. <laughs> this is just <laughs> the fact he had a solo a, a career afterwards. That's always a sign of a good frontman. Who's the lead singer of Five? There isn't one, is there? Is it not? Jay is well, a pick. Pick from the three. It's Jay, is there? Mm. Right, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is a definite. In. Is the I definite? Jagged, here, we, here we go. Here Jagger's we go. Jagger's a definite. So is Stevie Nicks. Mel B. Stevie Nicks. Mikey Way from My Chemical Romance. Good googling. Good googling there. I haven't been on Google, you fucking tit. Yeah. You're on Spotify. What we, what, right, okay. Isn't it Gerard? <laughs> isn't it Gerard Way? What? Isn't it Gerard Way? He has no idea what he's on about. No, Mikey's the frontman. Gerard Way is the... He's in the band. They're brothers. Oh, oh it's the other way around. <laughs> Gerard Way. Adam loves so him. He doesn't know the queens <laughs> of the Stone Age. I just like the songs, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> uh, I uh, only really like the Black Parade album. Yeah. Oh, nailed it. Nice. I know go? most of the songs from that album, though. Have we got five? Um, I'm fighting for Melby. <laughs> I'm fighting for Stevie Nicks. And have you voted for Stevie Nicks? I'd vote for Stevie Nicks. Out You're voting too. for Alex Taylor, aren't you? I want Axel yeah. Rose in. No. I don't think we're going to come to a fucking uh, agreement. Axel Rose is in. So yeah, we've got Freddie. Freddie's in. Jagger. Jagger's definite. in. 
Axel I will, Rose. I will, I will back Liam Gallagher to the head. Oh, Liam Gallagher's got to be in. All right. Really. We're fighting over two spaces here. And, I've, Melbourne. and I'm putting I'm putting Alex Turner in there. Right. Well, let's leave it to the vote. The lids can vote Mel for B. the last spots. Come on. You know it's Mel B. There's two spots. We've got Stevie Nicks, Mel B, Alex Turner, or Axel Rose. Should we do a poll on Twitter? When the let's do a poll on out. Twitter. Come a little bit closer, baby. Get it on. That song is about pussy, by the way. It's about shagging. Wow, they wrote a song about shagging. Yeah. But amazing. Because tonight is the night when two become one, because your cock goes in and you're like one big. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I need some God, I, like it was so never subtle, I never got... Gonna, gonna get love, love to you, gonna get Do you know the song I Mama is about the, uh, is their mums? Is it? Yeah. It's really, s- they're nuanced. Is it it's make great. love? What? I'm gonna make love to you. Is that it? Yeah. Baby. Yeah. I had a little... But the original lyric was cock. I had a little cock, now I come. Back for more. Want to give some cock to your baby. That didn't scan. Oh, want to give some cock to your baby. Oh, no, no. Because Mel Biggs. It was written by a man. Mel Uh, Big. uh, (laughs) Mel Big. (laughs) Cock, because of a cock. She had a massive cock. I bet (laughs) Mel Mel Big's got a large clip. (laughs) Oh, you bastard. Hey. Mel Big. Oh, I love Mel B. She's brilliant. Mel Clit. She'd be great on this, by the way, Mel Big. (laughs) Mel B. We're trying. What? Well, Will's trying. Yeah, well, that's right. Trying then let's clip out the. I think she's <laughs> the greatest frontman of all time. And I think she's got. <laughs> a, you go, that and, doesn't get it. And I, I think she's got a big clip. <laughs> Mel, big clit. She's just one step to Eddie Murphy. Then I want I Eddie w- Murphy on as well. I yeah. want Mel be on. Have they got a kid? Yeah. 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 And they were married, weren't they? Yeah. And Maybe. Axel Rose was Maybe. in a Ma- Eddie Murphy mad. film. Mel B married Eddie Murphy. That's how good of a front man she <laughs> Yeah. Mel she B married him. Yeah. Mel B from Manchester married him. Yeah. You telling me she's not the greatest front man of all time. So Mel B wins. Mel B from Manchester. And the gays love her. They do. Know. The gays she's do not like Eddie Murphy. Very homophobic in his early work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Uh, woo, woo, woo. So there'll be a poll on Twitter. Have a vote. Yeah. Get a vote on. Yeah. Show the lots of there's lots of polls on Twitter. Go oh, um, Blachyshovsky. Nice. Lewandowski. Fabianski. Nice. <laughs> no, he's on Facebook. Chesney. He's on Facebook. Um we fill them last two spots with the four we've got, please. And no, it can't be one of yours. I think it should be John from the Cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> No one gives a fuck. It's fine. No, we do. We want to. I want to hear the different no, opinions. We can have, an, we can have an other option. Yeah. yeah. Who did we miss? Top yeah. eleven. We Who definitely we missed? missed some glaring ones. But make your argument. Because yeah. Mel B is pretty fucking grandfathered in. I think. Grandfathered <laughs> 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 in. She's You'd love one. the Queens of the Stone Age, mate. Give All them right. a listen. They've You'd got love the spice four girls? or fi- five. Ju- I have. Wouldn't. I've seen them live. Party in the Park, nineteen ninety-seven, ninety-six. Party in the park. I was minus two. What? I was minus two. Wasn't born. Mad. He was just a coming as that. I was five. I was. Same. Cool. Maths. There you go. (laughs) Hang on, what month was it? Oh, hang on. Uh, July. Yeah, I was five. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Was Diana still alive then? She died in 97. 97. She She actually died at Party in the Park. (laughs) August. It's a massive conspiracy. (laughs) (laughs) She. Was it August? It was August the 27th, 1997, is my guess. August the 27th? Oh, that's my guess. 31st of August. Bastard. Oh, right, bosh. Oh, bank holiday weekend. Yeah, what a Got celebration. It. Yeah, my yeah. nana came into my hotel room in Paris and went, where have you been? That's how I found out. <laughs> you only poll. Um, <laughs> so Sounds stupid. like a designer label, I've done it. What's that, Omri Paul? What are you wearing there? Got a bit of Omri Paul on. It smells like petrol. It sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like one that you get from like, the fucking it smells like brake fluid. Bargains. Home bargains. Home bargains. What? Oh, Omri Paul. Can we do that again? <laughs> on, <let's> do it <laughs> again. Do it again. Can I, um, there, Omri Paul smells like brake fluid. Um, yes. Can I, uh, can, can I tell, oh, what was I going to tell you? Go on, you can tell us anything. Have I told you about the perfume my dad got me, the aftershave my dad got me for Christmas? Go on. <laughs> I've not told you about it. I think so, but go on. He went to me, got you this aftershave and I didn't recognise it, but obviously I didn't want to say that, what the fuck have you got me here? I'm like, what's that? And he goes, I know you might not recognise the bottle. But it's dead good, that. It's from Dubai. <laughs> oh, is it Oud? Is it what? Oud. Yeah. O-U-D. Is, is that, that good? No, Mid- that's just Middle this. Eastern aftershaves are genuinely yeah. sick. It's a Middle Eastern scent, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Woody well, they're all made in a uh, factory in uh, M- Munich, and you can just buy jarg ones, can't you? Off buy the jarg ones. everyone's wife. Well, I don't know what it is. 
Is it nice? It can't be good, it's can it? It's spicy. Can yeah. I just say, Chris, present-wise, buying aftershave, I'm not sure it's a great... I don't I like to, aftershave. As unless a you know I someone. Have a little I smell. Do. Unless you know someone wears that aftershave. No, I, I like getting a new one, me. What? Just out of the blue. Yeah. Give it a try. Yeah. I've, I, I've been gifted aftershave quite a lot, and it's not always worked You're out in terms of in like my current aftershave. Yeah. It's Mason Margiela. That uh, vanilla and tobacco is nice, isn't it? Oh, Laura yeah, got yeah, me yeah. some for Christmas. It's called I got blue de Chanel for me uh, <clears throat> for the Christmas on my birthday. Yeah. So Mason Margiela, I've started a range, and it's uh, familiar smells. So mine is, it's what? called When the Rain Stops. When the Rain Stops? So it's it's from Dublin, 1967, and it's the fresh rain and sun rays. So it's a memory smell. So well, you, you weren't alive then, Carl, or in Dublin? Who sold you this at Slimming World? <laughs> it's Mason Are you all right? Who's that? He's a very, very good designer. He's from Dubai. <laughs> You'll have heard but there's of loads it. of different When the rain scents. stops. Yeah, so like the... That's just like, like stinks no, out like the you remember, smell. You remember. <laughs> when the, what? When the Dewey. rain stops in Dublin in 1967. You remember that, don't you? Oh, yeah, now that you say it. Of course. No, I'm taking bath. But there's loads of different ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when my dad farted in Scunthorpe, 1988. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That was a bad one, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. When the cat shat, Preston, 93. It's Come thing. on your pillow, Have 2009. <laughs> Come on your pillow. What does that smell like? Oh. It smells um, like cum on a pillow. My gooch <laughs> when I've been wearing cycling That's the shorts outfit. last Smells night. like come on a pillow. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you buying memory smells? It's, it's memory. What's going on, Carl? I'm worried about you, I mate. I didn't buy it. It was a gift, and it smells fucking oh. lovely, mate. Um, You've been sold up the river, here, lad. It's just fucking rainwater in a bottle, which, charging you fucking two so grand. This, which river? River Ribble, low oh. tide, 1995. <laughs> Stinks as shit. But it's Mason Margiela. He's been to Dubai. I thought I was a suggestible consumer, but you are. Uh, I didn't level. buy it. It was a gift. Yeah, but you like it, don't you? Yeah, he what, loves what's, it. Uh, what's been? F yeah, I like it. What's wrong with liking things? How many pop-ups <laughs> have you got here? Oh, here we I go. I can't fucking read any of them. Can what you are read the smells? them? Smells. Go on. What are the smells? It's called Jazz yeah, it's Club. Like jazz, club. jazz Club. There you go. Yeah, it's the Jazz Club one. It's when it's you're in a Jazz Club. Cozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beach walk. Footy it's dick. It's all pretentious <laughs> shit, <isn't laughs> it? 2012. There's when the rain stops that I've got the footy dick. Yeah. Whispers, Whispers in, in the, the what? Library. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whispers <laughs> in you know the library. Goes, like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've shouting. also... It's I've, a library. Have you, have, you, have you also smelt death threats in Asda? That's really nice as well. <laughs> I think that's from somewhere called Gaylord. <laughs> what? It's where Harry's in uni, isn't it? I think that's from Gaylord. <laughs> oh, in Oklahoma? Yeah, when a Gaylord, gay Oklahoma. Gaylord University. When a Gaylord, the oh, it's Gaylord College, Atlanta. part of uh, the University of Oklahoma. Um, just so we don't get fucking. Your laptop shite. But yeah, a Mason Margiela replica. Some of them smell wonderful. I haven't bought because I was in Dublin. It's a nice smell. I'm just saying that's what. It's you weren't like. in Dublin in '96. I wasn't. No. Oh, right. But when the rain stops, smells like the Dewey's bit of afterwards. <laughs> With a D. All right, guys. Now it's time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor, it's Athletic Greens. Are they your favourite sponsor? Well, they are. Honestly, I think everyone should be taking a multivitamin. This is amazing stuff. This is the AG1. This is their, like, big dog. Got loads of vitamins, minerals. It's completely gluten-free, dairy-free, corn-free. It's so good for you. Lacto-free. You just take that once a morning and your body gets to absorb it. Instead and of you can put it in this cup bits. as well. You don't have to ruin your, your favourite Harry Potter mug with this stuff. Do you know what I mean? You can put it in this. <laughs> To get this to keep all your stuff in. You don't have to, like you don't have to like go without a, a coffee container because they send you one for your athletic greens. Especially if you've got dark green tea, coffee, and sugar things, this will fit right alongside it. And if you haven't, then you'll definitely know which ones you athletic greens. It's 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 win win. Do you know what I mean? It's about building micro habits. This stuff you want to be making small changes to your life that can add up to big things. Atomic habits. That's the name of the book I'm reading. Tra it, it ties into this really travel well. sachets. If you're on your travels, oh, it's right. a full amazing kit. Ooh, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of the multivitamin. This is the AGD3 plus K2. And five free travel packs. This will fit right in your pocket. You don't need to take a suitcase. You can put it in your any coat pocket. Look, it fit in your jeans. Look at that. Oh, my, look at that. He's high on vitamins. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash have a word. Again, that is Athletic Greens. Dot com slash have a word. Athleticgreens.com slash have a word. Get yourself some vitamins that fit right in your pocket or in your kitchen. Get healthy, you know. Got all sloss dogs, haven't we? 
Danny's here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you know, I came down to see this mainly, you know. Yeah, you walked in and you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you walked straight. Like most people hang in the lobby for a bit. You brought your two, are they both your brothers? Aye. You brought both your brothers in. You were like, yeah, I've just come to show these displays because I want them to steal all your ideas. Essentially, For yeah. your podcast. Well, just because, you know, uh, me and Kai have done a podcast for seven or eight years now. And it's never improved in quality, fan base or output. <laughs> and that is through, uh, just because we put no fucking effort into it. Because we're on the road most of the time. We fucking we do record. know the stuff. Yeah. And it's also, a great podcast. Also, I'm not doing any of this work right i'm never gonna do that and i was like i don't know anyone that's gonna you're do too it. good for it but you've got brothers you're not like these fucking idiots oh, yeah. these guys, you're yeah. talented <laughs> you're talented like me and dan you're not a fucking idiot oh. like everyone be over there Tom, <laughs> the, no i'm in, i'm here just, I'm just a little bit um, <laughs> <laughs> i just want my brothers who have like a different perspective of money and i'm like yeah you'll do this for like a hundred quid they're like yeah and i'm like great then that's you go learn and <laughs> just go and Sounds familiar, and... boys. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah. But you can't sack your brother, so let's hope it works out with them. Yeah, okay. You can. I've done that. For oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> You're on a tightrope. Yeah. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family business. Don't get me wrong. It does, it does feel like there is a bit of Tory to it. Being like, we're going to start a business, and it's all going to be my family members mm. and my friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> going to get a higher wage than everyone else, but it's because I trust them more mm, yeah. than yeah. all those pesky working classes. That's, that's the one thing... That like went because like we're massively anti Tory on this and socialist ideals. And all that well, well, but off. I'll see you lads later. <laughs> <laughs> when they're like, oh, they gave contracts to their best friends yeah. who weren't necessarily qualified for the job, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll make you PPE. <laughs> like, no Take me two died. years to learn, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Carl was on his way back from Japan. And he was like, I'm gonna be on the door. We were like, just fucking figure yeah. it out as you go. <laughs> How about being on? Our door. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a door and I wasn't going to be. I was gonna, just going to get a job. I yeah, tried been on to the sign door. up to the door when I was about, I'd left high school and I was, and my parents were like, right, you're allowed to pursue stand up. You know, you can, the gap here that everyone takes at the end of uni, you can take it pre uni, pursue your dream for a year and see if anything happens. And I was like, I'll also sign up to the door in this time. And every time, I was in, they were like, why are you signing for the door? I'm like, I don't earn enough for my job. And they're like, okay, we need proof that you're looking for a job. And I'm just the whole time like, I have a job. I'm a comedian. And they're like, uh-huh. So it's fucking everyone we get in here. Could you also <laughs> maybe tell us your goals to get in a real job? And I'm like, well, I'm just going to keep doing, traveling 400 miles for no money. But don't worry, my dad's driving me. I don't have a car. Uh, <laughs> i just been like, that's Dolly. Give me, and they just, they, they never fucking. Because well, they want you to go and like try and get a job at HMV or something. Yeah, yeah. And have proof of it. Yeah. No, you don't like, have to have proof. What? You just have to write it down. This is actually the truth. So when I was on the door, they, they would give me, a, I'd arrive for me like every two weeks you go in so they can go, right, have you been looking for work? You know, you have to go, right, fill this form in and tell us where you've been looking for work. Or maybe they give it with you, they give you it and you take it with you and you fill it in while you're home and you bring it in. Yeah. So you write down like, foolproof establishments and I'd put like, Greg's the Bakers. <laughs> what did you do to seek a job? I went in and asked the woman if they were hiring. Result. They're not hiring. And but they are do, selling steak bakes. Yeah. I Results, was, seven Because I was on the door for a little bit. When when my bar job got too clashy with stand-up, I was like, right, well, I can't do bar work anymore. But I need money and you're there nothing from stand-up. So I was like, right, I'm on the dole for a bit. Just to get the 30 quid a week they'll give you. Just so I could give me dad it and be like, here's your rent. Oh. I'm going to Scarborough for fuck all. Um, and yeah, so you just, you just have to write it. But I would sit in my dad's house. And just write about all these jobs that I was applying for that I had. Allegedly. I went into lab brokes again. Allegedly. They still don't hire sixteen-year-olds. <laughs> no, this is all I did. This. It's alleged, didn't it? I went to no, the mafia. Comedy podcast. I went to the mafia. Asked if I could be a made man. I did they start making no. some up, yeah. like just to start see putting if... in the address. And the mafia's yeah. like, you didn't put down our actual <laughs> address, <laughs> did you? Yeah, no, it's just the dull people. The bro. fucking scouse mafia. I mean, mate came with me once to hand it in, and he was like, "I was like, I need one more because I hadn't filled it in." And he went, "Lad, I dare you." to ask her if she's hiring. <laughs> and I did. So she was like, what's the last one? I was like, have you got any jobs going here? She was like, no. I was like, pop that, that down. <laughs> <laughs> You're that, not trying. <laughs> it, it, imagine she'd said yes. <laughs> just, 
just like in Tim Allen. Oh, just quit. Yeah, Quit on the spot. Yeah, fucking, I'm yeah, my job seeing yeah. a bit. It's like the little fucking tie she has to wear is like Tim Allen's the Santa Claus. She just like takes it off, puts it off you, and then she falls She's vanished. Into her oh my Where's God. Where's she gone? Scarborough, for fuck all. That's how, yeah, you did that job until someone asked the magic question. Yeah. yeah. That's so can I have a job? Can I your job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> yeah. Be, working in the dole office is the career version of It Follows. You just have to pass it on to someone else. Yeah. And you're leaving the door like, I'm so sorry. How long will it be? I've been here for 67 <laughs> years. Yeah. We're at a dole office in Liverpool. <laughs> it could be a while. <laughs> have you ever had any other job? I, well, d- not a real job. I have a, did have a job before this. I was a paintball referee. <laughs> Uh, because, uh, I mean, I'll say the name of the company, Bedlam, basically, I think it's one of those businesses where they just like, and we'll give you the opportunity to start your version of Bedlam up here. It's like McDonald's, it's a a franchise thing. So my mum, when I was was still at school, uh, one day I came home from school, she was like, you've got a job. And I went, what? She was like, I was just up at the corner shop today, and there was a little, like one of those tag pull-away things, help wanted, Uh, they're looking for a bunch of teenagers, to be a paintball referee and you're getting picked up at half past five in the morning on Saturday for your first shift. So like, bit annoyed on my weekends. First going. problem, uh-huh. the time. Oh man, I'm a fucking- Where was it? It was uh, in a place called Edsel, so uh, just slightly north of, or south of Aberdeen, but it was two and a half hours hey. and our boss- uh, Oh, you lived in Fife? Uh, yeah. yeah which is the arsehole between the butt cheeks of Glasgow and Edinburgh. Uh, no, it's it's north. It's the weird extra dog head on the dog head, and it's scum. But like St Andrews is there, and it's technically part of Fife. But if you ask anyone from Fife, if St Andrews is a part of Fife, they'll tell you no because you know they've got a university and they they think yeah. they're better than us. But it's a trek to Aberdeen for a Saturday job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And our boss is like an ex-army commander. Like he ref- refused to let any of us call each other by our second names because it just reminded him of being like a squaddy. So I wasn't allowed to be called squad. So, so, he, so because they want to keep- That is not how he's, he's seen his life going. That's like a security guard on Burger King now. It's like, <laughs> you're gonna see me have a fucking flashback, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a security guard. I'm gonna tell people that they can and can't come in. Okay, go and stand on that Mackey's over there, mate. <laughs> Man, he- w- Oh, he guy w- going he to was a p- He would not let us sleep in the car even though we were fucking exhausted because he was like, you gotta get at five thirty, that's the way of the army, and I'm like, I don't, I just, I'm not in the army. I'm a fucking <laughs> paintball reverend, you fucking psychopath. <laughs> like he, he used to make me, and because we were we were 16 years old, being paid like just under minimum wage, and we were fucking terrified of this guy because he'd killed shepherds out in the desert with his bare hands. Right? He's just got fucking <laughs> stories, like. Uh, and he would make us sing Lily Allen songs all the way up to keep us awake and to keep him awake. He's like, it's not good when the radio does it. Come on, this is a real person. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hang on. He killed shepherds with his bare hands. Yeah. Like Lily Allen. And yeah. now he's a paintball referee manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or team leader. And no, Lily not, Allen no, no team and leader to what he did. It was, I can either hire adults to do this or... And adults will be like, hey, this isn't like how people should be treated in a job. So you get teenagers who don't know any better. And they're like, well, you know, I guess people at the Royal Bank of Scotland have to sing Lily Allen for their (laughs) boss during lunch breaks. Was he a Lily Allen fan? No, I think he was just uh, making us very... It was hazing, man. Like, he'd been hazed in the army and and clearly, you know... I thought hazing was when you did a bit of pot. Uh, man, if that had been the car ride, <laughs> I would have sang Lily Allen myself. Turned the radio <laughs> off. Yeah. Um, he. It was. It, yeah. There's <laughs> a joke. It was a nightmare job because the only people that go to paintball are stag dudes, hen dudes, shitty fucking work dudes, and cunts birthday parties. Except for our boss, who had the genius idea of also, you know. It was up in an area like Aberdeen, where it's near Dundee, where there's a lot of troubled youths. So there were like schools for troubled kids. And whenever those teenagers had been good for like five weeks and they hadn't broken a cat's neck or stabbed each other, <laughs> yeah. they were like, well, the reward is we're going to send them out into the forest. Weaponized. I weapons. hate those kids in our school. We had them. Oh. They got BMXs. Yeah. yeah. They got they quad bikes. They built them a quad bike track on yeah. the, our school grounds. And they were like, oh, yeah, they're for the kids who stab each other when they don't stab each other. If you didn't do a fire in a week, you got like a fucking, you got like a, a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and there's just like, fire. <laughs> it's the most unfair fucking thing. But hang on, not... were these kids special needs or just like no, 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 no. So when we were like, like right, Adam and Carl, they're just moderate all year round. We were so they, get, they just get exams. Yeah. But these guys stab each other once a month. We need to stop the stabbing. Right. So it'll be if you don't stab each other, then you get a quad bike day. Yeah. But like we we should have had a quad bike day every fucking week. Yeah, we never. Because we didn't each stab other. anyone no. allegedly. <laughs> you never got caught. And then they all got expelled in the last week of year eleven. Every like maybe like twenty of them got expelled in one go. One wow. Of, one of the kids, right? And this is how like troubled they were. So okay, it's just me and another teenager are in charge of like groups of two teams of twenty. So there's about 15 kids on his team, 15 kids on my team. They're not gonna listen to us because we're the same age. In fact, I'm the kid, they beat the shit out of school and they can smell that on me. So I'm using my big boy voice and being like, okay, it's very important that you don't, you know, when we're out in the field, you have to wear your masks at all time and, and, and you can't aim your markers during the, markers is the name of the guns and you've got to have your hopper. And that's the thing that has all the Yeah, the round on thing, top. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And man, the one thing that was fucking drilled into us by our army guy was like, anyone with their fucking masks off, that it's one warning and then they're fucking gone. Like th this shit takes people's eyes out. I'm not getting fucking sued. And if we are getting sued, I'll fucking blame you for it, right? So again, tell these kids not to put their fucking masks off. First thing they do is fucking take their masks off. And one of the guys, I'm like, I'm just, I'm like, I can't intimidate them. I'll, I'll reason with them. I'll do the, this thing that no adults tried before. I'll talk to them on a human level. And I'm like, look, these are really dangerous. They come out like the end of the market, like 200 feet per second. I know it's just paint, but like, you know, to explode, it's got to have a high level of fucking impact. And this kid just picked up the gun and to the side of his head, held it down for like three seconds until like purple paint was going down the side. <laughs> just like, and I was like, you know, keep it, mate. Keep it. That is, man. Tell you, tell you what, if I had your face, I wouldn't wear a mask either. Those are beautiful eyes. I've killed fucking six cats. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go paintballing uh, every two weeks when I was like 13. It for like fucking two years. stings like yeah, nothing it's like else. Never been paintball. Hitting on the, the, like the back by your spine. The, I was the team worst, captain of our little squad. Worst bits between like you wear your overalls and you wear your <laughs> helmet mask there, and the worst bit there is on the fucking neck. Right, so after my first shift of doing it, I get pelted twice, right? And it's like fucking bleeding, like a big gummy fucking vampire thing. And I uh, go into school on the Monday. And I'm so excited to tell everyone the fact, you know, even though the job's shit, it doesn't matter. Paintball referee sounds cool as fucking. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. They don't have to know the fucking truth of it. Should I I'm tell all the girls you're the paintball team captain, mate? <laughs> mate, Dripping. I told my girlfriend at the time that I was a fucking paintball referee and she broke up with me <laughs> because she thought that was a lie for the love bites on my neck. I had this! My mum was like, what are you Whoa. doing, like, girls? <laughs> he broke up with his mum. <laughs> well, Get out the house. My mum was like, why are you letting these fucking dirty bitches suck on your neck? And I was like, I'm not. It's a paintball injury. Right. She was like, oh, that's what they all I'm say. I'm a captain. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Fuck you. If, Fuck you very, very <laughs> much. If, if, they're, if they're love bites, that does explain the three on my arse, but it doesn't explain the six <laughs> across my chest and the four on my shin. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, baby. <laughs> Suck oh, my God. shins. Jesus. Suck my shins. I used to hate the referees because you'd want to carry on. Aye. Have you got it? Oh, uh, they all hate you. And, and by the way, when you and your friends are playing fucking paintball against each other and you're all wearing fucking camo and you can't see each other and you're bored and you want to shoot something, who better to shoot than the cunt yeah. not hiding in a red overall and a yellow mask? <laughs> so you just fucking sit there and you, uh, uh, you get hit all the fucking time <laughs> and you're like... Ah, yeah, they're like, sorry, Marshall. Sorry, Marshall. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that, mate. Pff, oh, oh, done it again. Oh, no. <laughs> Though we did used to, uh, like, so they had paintball grenades, which weren't great. It was just paint with an explosive thing in it. And they would throw that. They had smoke grenades. Uh, which smoke grenades were sick. You they, felt like you were really in Nam then. Aye. <laughs> there was one, we had a bunch of squaddies in once, right? And we were very, very nervous <laughs> for them coming in because we thought they were going to be... Like the worst fucking behaved, but because their sergeant, and their major, whatever was there, man, in line to fuck, drunk as hell, but in line to fuck. It was one of the most, like, they were the only people that paintballed, like, information. And, like, they would, instead of me talking to the entire team, they'd send a captain up to talk to me, and then he'd go and tell his, his fucking troops what to do, and they'd all call me fucking sir. It was amazing. And there was one point, one of the Hang guys. Hang on, were they retired or were they cadets? Uh, it was a mix, so, it's, oh, so right. it was like uh, it was like just, just army nonces, basically. No, no, like they, they a lot. No, no, they were like I, 
it was it was like their decompression, but not like their first thing back. These were the ones that were like, they got an out for a bit, and they were like, I, I miss. I miss shooting cunts from a bush. Oh, right, yeah. So uh, they come out. One guy was like, do you have any duct tape? And I, immediately I'm like, they're a you, man, I know this is capture the flag, but you're not allowed to pin your mate down, hog tie him and take him back to the base. And he's like, mate, I would never do anything as stupid as that, I promise you. It's just for the overalls. And I'm like, all right, you know, fair enough. I'm not going to fucking question him. And then during the, <laughs> during the, the uh, fight, I just see this fucking cunt and he'd strapped two of the smoke things to his leg with fucking duct tape. I'd let them off and was just fucking sprinting down as a distraction. Now, the smoke's good when it's stationary, but when you're running, it's, man, it just looks like you're playing fucking light bikes. There's just like a little trail behind you. But what is... Yeah, it looks like you're going dead fast, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when you put a carton in the back of your bike and you're like... Meh! Like, that is the, that is the paintball version of yeah. that, isn't it? It's well, like, how it's, fast are coming? Why are you smoke coming off yeah. It's like he's just Fucking been sonic the and he's been edge, spinning for like a couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They literally tied snow, smoke bombs to his ankles and went, listen, take one for the team and run in that. Ran the direction, but the smoke wasn't distracting, but was what was distracting was, uh, at the end of it, the phosphorus burning into his fucking skin. <laughs> so he was uh, running and laughing, and then it just became like shrieks of actual fucking pain. And for the first time on the paintball course, I heard an army person genuinely yell out, Medic! And I'm like, I'm not qualified. I'm not qualified for any of this. I had, to, I had to take it back and I'm like, one of them has like phosphorus burns. And, and he's like, it's one of the squaddies. And I was like, yeah, because he it's, he's, he's got those before. That's not, like, that's not the first time they've done this fucking ploy. I used to love the paintball. We should go again. We need to go. I'd love to fucking You know, you surely you want to do air, some... Airsoft is the one now where it's the guns are better. They look more like actual fucking guns. It's a higher rate of fire. And it's just little balls and they, they fucking hurt less. I think that's... Is that outdoors? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. How do you know you've fraud. been hit? Do you have to admit? Because obviously with paintballing, you can see the evidence. Sometimes, but some, man, I mean, paintball sometimes don't burst and that's when they're fucking hard. So it is an honesty thing. And again, stags, hens, work dudes and scummy kids don't have any honesty in them. So you're like, <laughs> yeah. you got hit. And they're like, I didn't got hit. And you're like... You, you, I can see you look like a Jackson Pollock yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. just go no not me boss didn't get hit at all <laughs> also like it depends whether you're taking it seriously doesn't it when the marshal's like you're hit you're out you're like no I'm not I've got fucking loads of bullets there. fuck off you've been it you're out <laughs> one, of the kid, one of the kids <laughs> scouse paintball there's no rules well Frodium the... was obviously heavily scouse when we used to go there and people had like hide in the little huts there's like loads of little huts and you just sneak up and just put like a fucking pink grenade through the window and you did eh! As they fucking splattered everywhere. It's great. One, one of the scummy <laughs> kids got like a handful of like five of the paintballs, like he was holding like a very loose bunch of fucking grapes, and he just squeezed them over a stick. And I was like, "The fuck are you doing?" And he just went, "Paint knife." Paint, like I just have to get paint on them, right? And then it, they're out of the game. And I'm like, "You don't get to play." In <laughs> That's the next. incredible. Oh, it's not incredible. <laughs> that 16 year old being like, "If I get this on his neck, does that count as me getting him?" I'm like, "Yeah, in courts, in courts, that also counts." <laughs> what was he holding? An actual knife? No, no, no a stick. But he called it. That was no, a... that's fine. You're a fucking cunt, you. You should have let him play on. Paint knife. Paint knife's a great idea. That's innovative. You should reward that. That's they creativity. were already being rewarded. That's why they were at the fucking paintball. You gotta reward the creativity there. Nah, I'm not I'm not doing paintballing with these. No, I've got an actual gun and I'm painting the bullets. <laughs> Who's gonna win? That's what we do. <laughs> Just I'd shoot him. No, you could make a bayonet out of it though, couldn't you get a big twig, stick it on the fucking end of your paintball? Paint the end of it, yeah. Fucking stabbed you out. Just yeah. a fucking tin of fucking <laughs> tooth, uh, a tin of paint, like toothpaste, being like, I'm a fucking paint vampire, mate. Who's getting caught? <laughs> if I kiss them with all this fucking paint in my mouth, <laughs> I, I, I treat it too real, me. Uh. Like I'd shoot someone, they'd be like, oh, How did you make captain? Over them and be like, say your last words, you fucking twat. Pow, pow, pow. Three in the chest. Pow, pow. That's how you make Professional captain. Professional job. Executing people. Yeah. Yeah. Not one in the head, no. Three in the chest. <laughs> yeah. It's quite inefficient, isn't it? You should just one in the head. Three in the chest is a professional job. You can survive From a bullet distance. in the head. From distance. I'm sorry, what? You can survive a bullet in the head better than yeah, three in like the chest. Yeah, but like only, only, only in like the one in a million stories. Hang on, yeah, what? Yeah, but take no chances, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> so why you take no chances. <laughs> ah, the head's overrated. <laughs> three shots to the arm. <laughs> Three to one. <laughs> Sorry, you've got a better chance of surviving a, a bullet to the head? Than three in the chest, yeah. Is it? 
Yeah. How do you know that, Captain? I just know it. If you blow someone's heart from your training. Right. How shit have you got to be to shoot someone in the head and not kill them? It's like, nothing to do with you. It's not the marksman, it's the it's the bullet. <laughs> it's the head. I think it is. I think it's like I don't I understand what you say, people have been shot in the head and survived, but I don't think anyone's been shot between the fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, you dumb cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. But they Pull reckon that if you put uh, uh, they reckon if you put like a a, a a pickaxe in the middle of your head and just tap it in. Then it, you <laughs> <laughs> it changes your personality. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, yeah. 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 You turn yeah. so cabbage. I, I definitely think it would affect your gigs. <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently, like people have been like really arrogant and cocky, and then they've had the pickaxe done there. Get me and then a pickaxe. Really gentle souls. I, I need th- a... No, I think that's just from the fucking punishment. Like if 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 I was a cunt and then somebody put a pickaxe to my head, hammer at the other end, and I walked away with that clear murder attempt, I'm like. I'm going to change yeah. my <laughs> outlook on life. I'm gonna I don't think down. that's a, a... A brain surgeon's not going to be like, well, you know what? It, it, it knocked the loot. What's the fucking one from uh, Happy Gilmore? The Ablongara? Oh, yeah. Like that Abdullah Ablongara, <laughs> yeah. It's not that being knocked into the back of the head. It's that the fact that some ice climber... I'm telling you, it's it's a thing. Google it. Just say Can Derek, you change Derek someone's Shepard. personality by putting a pickaxe in the front of their head? Yeah, Derek Shepard. definitely Google, Google that. Don't We're going to get thrown off Google. <laughs> Can off. you conge? <laughs> Finn uses the internet. Can you change someone's personality by type? What? On With Tinder by hand? Also, by hand? There was a very sad Google uh, guess there, which was, can you change somebody's personality on Tinder? Oh, no. Oh, oh, honey, just sucks. delete Tinder. It's oh, not. God. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's true, Adam. <laughs> you can change. I could change your personality with a pickaxe. You know what this podcast? You know what happens? I realise I was told so many things when I was younger that I've just believed about pickaxes. <laughs> <laughs> you are very much the Joe Rogan of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Rogan. I just, I just, you know what? I just, I, I like the world to be more interesting. Do you know how big a pickaxe is? Like the end of it? Well, maybe it's not a pickaxe. Maybe an ice pick. You think of an ice pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's like the one he used to fucking escape from (laughs) Shawshank Redemption. Just Just put, change personality. (laughs) After 15 years, you're going to be a different person. Yeah. He's just walking around the, uh, the the yard, just dropping small bits of Adam's brain onto the ground and stamping it in. Deep brain stimulation. I don't think it's tapping it on the head, though. I think yeah, it's how therapeutic tapping can alter neural correlates. Tapping, tapping. And when have you... All this gear. There's nothing to do with pickaxes, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scout's way. Yeah. Get that pickaxe I've off. heard getting your legs blown off in a war changes your personality quite heavily. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It can really changes change. your route to walk at, yeah. at work as well. Yeah. Wee. Changes, Wee. Your... Oh. <laughs> changes your feelings towards fireworks. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. No, when you get told like an interesting fact like that, it's just better to just have it be a fact and mm-hmm. Google it and can find out say, it's not true. Can you sit in the front seat if you're under 16? Or is my granddad chatting shit? <laughs> He's chatting shit. shit. Yeah. Can you what? Bastard. Can you sit in the front seat? Of a car. Of a car if you're under 16. Yeah. 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 yeah you're chatting. also, despite what everyone thought, you're allowed to... My granddad was always, if I was ever fucking reading in the back of the car, because this is in the day before phones. The lights. The, the light. Be like, illegal. Got, it's illegal for you to drive with the light on in the back of the car. I Mike. still believe that. No. It's not true. Oh, I thought that, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's inconsiderate, isn't it? Even though in the front as well, turn it off. But yeah. I thought, you know, you can't be, you can't be 16. I'd be like, oh, fucking police. And then he put me in the front to see him cool. And when the police had drive past, he go, get your head down. <laughs> I'm not even missing. Yeah. <laughs> Get your head down, suck my dick, you're up the front. You've earned, got, yeah. got to earn this, got to earn this. And if, you do, earn suck this. if you do suck your granddad's dick, no matter what he says. Have you got you, this? You Here's a fucking guard man in story. Suck your granddad's dick. He wasn't a paedophile, but he got a pickaxe to the head. <laughs> Nightmare. Bad pedo it's pickaxe. It's paedophilia, yeah, a personality. Well, I mean. So, yeah, what is it? A way of life? <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's a treat. There was, there was that, there was that fucking uh, about 10, 15 years ago. There was a guy who, <laughs> yeah, it's not a personality trait I'd put in my fucking Tinder bar, uh, like, yeah. <laughs> or on my family tree, Carl. <laughs> no, work, work smart, not, not hard. Looking to settle down. No single mums. Pete Val. <laughs> no time wasters, please. Or police. <laughs> Kids in the back. Peter the father. There was that. There was that guy about ten or fifteen years ago. Like he was a dad of two, and he went one day and he dropped his kids off at school, and he felt sexual urges towards like the other kids. Was obviously immediately fucking ashamed. Turned himself into the police, and the police were like, "Well, thanks, but like fancying kids isn't a crime." 
No. Unfortunately, <laughs> acting on it is. Paedophilia isn't a crime. Until yeah. Yeah. Until paedophilia is just being attracted to minors. The kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not people with pickaxes. <laughs> <laughs> He's on strike again. To be fair, a pickaxe is how I would cure most pedophiles. <laughs> that, that, yeah. I gotta say. Hang on, hang on. If you're a uh, if you're a nonce and you're having noncey feelings, you can't go to the <laughs> the police and go Spider Man. <laughs> you got you if you get bit by a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Do you get yeah. do you get pedophilic strengths? Yeah. <laughs> just just you just, you just, just, just jizz everywhere. <laughs> oh God. Just you throwing candy bars. Hang on, hang on. You can't go to the police and be like, listen. I've not done anything, but, but I'm having some no, you can't go to the You can't go to a therapist. You know Johnny yeah. Pelham? The comedian? Yeah. I'm pretty sure both of his parents uh, work oh. with non-offending paedophiles. Oh, God. Oh, pretty oh, yeah. pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> we all pretty took sure. a left turn out of fucking Dan's getting a message. <laughs> pretty sure. I'm I like, think he's a paedophile. Thank God. Do you know uh, paedophilia, paedophilia? Do you know Johnny Pelham? Pause. <laughs> and both, I'm pretty sure both his parents, pause, <laughs> work with non convicted paedophiles. Yeah, yeah. they're therapists who are like, right, you want to bum kids? Well, don't. And they're like, nice one, 200 quid, see you next week. <laughs> 200 quid. <laughs> it's a fucking easy job. <laughs> You'd be <laughs> fucking brilliant. Is it? I'm, I'm in the nonsy thoughts. Like, Stop it. It's awful. 210, cost of living. <laughs> They Hang on, is there not like a soft register? No, no so what happened was he's, he's, he... There's a hard register yeah, if you've hard, done something. Yeah. Soft register, uh, thinking about it. It's no, called so a soft register because you don't like, get the erection. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Touche. It's like therapy and they, he turned himself in uh, to doctors and they did a brain scan and they found a tumour in his brain. Oh, and then pedo cancer. they removed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, to be fair, no, no. The second, if, hey, if paedophiles deserve anything... <laughs> It's cancer. Hang on. So, so Hodge kids lymphoma. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hodge kids. Mate. Oh my God! What? I, that's that's the two hundred and ninety nine. That's great. That's that's the line, is it? That's not okay. <laughs> Pedo cancer. Fine. A little pun. Everyone's oh. You can oh, all go and fucking suck my nice. dick. Puns are really Luke offensive. Could have been better. Uh, um, can you really get a tumour that makes you a nonce? Ah, uh, uh, so they Why took it, took it out. It? Dr. Sloss. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, man, it's a fucking famous ass fucking study. It was 15 years ago because it obviously changed the way a lot of people, you know, well, at least scientists thought about fucking paedophiles because it, it can be learned behaviour, it can be trauma-based behaviour. But when this guy got it removed, all the thoughts and feelings were gone until four years later they came back, went in for another brain scan and the tumour was back. Oh my God. So at that point... If, if that might be the only positive paedophilia story you ever hear. You know what I mean? Because yeah. him going, well, mainly because oh, they're that secretive nature. <laughs> Got him checked again. Is he That's dead? Mad, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just a wee ch poking on your brain. You're like, oh. yeah. I suppose it's a part of your brain that does your sexuality and what your kinks and that sort of it changes. Then you could like bum and kids. <laughs> And that's what we brought Daniel on to talk about. If you want to fuck kid, and get dose. yourself checked for cancer. Yeah. That's that's the version of like women checking their breasts every month. <laughs> do you have any, just every month, just do a little, feel around Pedo and see if you've got any Tom Bins just around the top there. What are you doing at the swimming pool? You haven't got any kids. <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> See if I've got all. cancer. Thank you. Yeah. I've got the all clear. Wow. But you, then again, you if you do there. do it, like if they can't remove the tumour, if they're like, that's too far in there, that'll kill you. You're like, oh, I mean, I, I think that's the only other alternative, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't just, all right, well. Did I hear you, um, uh, you've had a little break from the Wii. Did you do dry January? <laughs> Talking about changing your... Um, mm, Mindset. No, it's smooth. Smooth. Oh, yeah, well, it was a screech on it, so yeah. Um, did you have a little break from the weed? I did say it, like... I did, in a way, I was going to do full sober January. Did you get 11 days into it and then have a birthday and think, fuck it? <laughs> Essentially, yes. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, is your birthday in January? My birthday is September the 11th. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> and I feel awful. because I was, uh, you uh, I was yeah. uh, 11 years old on the day and I feel fucking awful because that is what I'd wished for. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but, but, like, but I didn't think. I didn't. The years, the, the years before I wished for a puppy, the years before I wished for an Xbox, nothing. The one year, the one year, the one year I wish for both trade centers to go down. Fuck, oh man, I didn't know. A birthday cake with two really tall candles. <laughs> yeah. 
Blow them out, blow them out. Those candles are burning in a way that candles don't normally oh, burn. Hang on a minute. They're way down to the ground. <laughs> That's what happened with the one that was headed to the White House. They were like, Daniel, unwish it. <laughs> a second cake has been delivered to Daniel Sloss's house. A second cake has been delivered to Daniel Sloss's oh. house. George Booth reading Spot. Oh. <laughs> oh uh, how was your time off the pot? Uh, I mean, fine. Like it's my my. I mean, I'm definitely a fucking addict with it. And then when I come off, I'm like, oh, I'm not an addict because you know I focus on something else. I can, uh, you know, I exercise heaps more. I feel a lot better about myself. And then, and then after two weeks, I'm like, you're in control. Why not fully? <laughs> but the only reason I fully fucking broke it was in 2019 for my brother's Christmas. Is because they were both finally over 18. I was like, I'm going to take you to Amsterdam. Uh, we're going to get fucking stoned as fuck and have the time of our lives. We did that a couple of weeks ago. We went and, Aye. Uh, yeah, had some pot. It's it's the best. And then COVID happened. So obviously for uh, two years, I couldn't take my brothers to Amsterdam. And then my rescheduled tour dates were in January. And I'm just uh, like, do, I, I love Sober Jan. I do it every year. Uh, and I respect people that fucking do it. But I do hate people that are so committed that they're blind to that like one day. Like their partner gets a promotion at work and they're like, uh-uh. Not not celebrating with you. We've been trying for a baby for five years. Too late, bitch. I don't care how pregnant you are. It's January 18th. I'm not celebrating. I mean, if you find out you're pregnant, you probably shouldn't yeah. be drinking don't to celebrate. <laughs> no, you no, I don't. You, are you going to fucking at me? Yeah. I mean, it's the dad. You've got to, hey. Uh, oh, no, you can't. Can you? Yeah. I've got to wet the baby's head. It's still wet. It's inside the of me. There's no. <laughs> Do you reckon uh, Ketterman's good if you're pregnant, though? Yeah. Yeah. Reckons, what are you saying? It's the pickaxe man. <laughs> <laughs> right, ignore him. Could you Google that, Finn? Is Ket- <laughs> yeah, is Ketman good for unborn babies? Let's do it quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no. Mate, we love Amsterdam. The special's out now, isn't it? This is going out... Kind of. If you're watching it Hang on, Friday, when's this? So, this no, no, no. Special's no, no. going out Friday the 10th. Yeah, this yeah. is going out. This is next week's episode. Yeah. yeah. So, the- yeah. Be out on Friday. Friday the 10th of February, the Amsterdam special. Watch Carl get so high for eight eight minutes. Did you It was more than eight minutes. It felt like more. (laughs) It did. Did you partake? I did shrooms the whole time. Oh, really? Had a a really jolly, jolly time. But you're, unlike Carl, you're not inexperienced to those drugs, really. It's been a long time since I've shrooms, like 15 years since I've had shrooms and 10 years since I've had a pill. I've done a little bit of cocaine. Uh, But but you know that part of your brain. So when it's awoken from its slumber, you're not like, oh. Well, last time I had a pill, it was too intense, way too strong. And I ended up sitting and watching a club night go by. And just as I got over that, you know when it's overwhelming? Yeah. uh, Both physically and mentally, it was just too strong. And I was like, oh, cool, I've got a bit of energy. And they were on the last like 10 minutes of the club night. So I was just fucking bouncing around an after party. Um, <laughs> mushrooms, I know you can't go weird on people like, oh, did you like have a weird, I don't think you can on shrooms. You just get really giggly. Everything's fun. You feel like the fuck, you feel like a marshmallow man. It's really, I love it. It depends on the mushrooms you have. The ones you had are like the little dotty ones, but like the They're ones, truffles, aren't they? Yeah the, yeah, the big ones that look like mushrooms. Like, they can be really bad. The portobellos. Yeah. Um, well, the ones I had felt fucking brilliant. And I, because I, I'm really fussy, I tried, as a former pillhead, I was like, cool, I don't have to chew this. I'll just get a bit of water. We did it while you were losing your mind. I was out on the street <laughs> going, because they were so lumpy and they smelled horrible. And, and so then someone went, chew yeah. them, because it releases the, yeah. psilocybin. the psilocybin quicker. So the first ones, and I'd had a good chunk of them, I just swallowed them straight. And nothing happened for three hours. That was weird. He had Carl, gone and come back. Carl, this whitey, I was I was in. I was off, baked. Like, oh my god, they kicked him when we were watching a sex I've show been in Amsterdam. Blazing me, oh. yeah, uh, blazing squad. They called her me. Her pussy's that. melting. That's oh not the shrooms. Oh my down. god, it was the cringiest, stupidest sex show ever. It was incredible. The bounce went, oh, lads, you want to shit at the front? So we're like, ah, oh, this will be funny. And that's the bit where all of the slow digestion of those truffles hit. The strippers got some Asian lads on stage to dance, and I have never <laughs> laughed so much. It was the and best you know what's making me laugh? I was like, Carl's going to be thinking this is so funny, and that was making me laugh. And I kept looking back at Carl, and because I was tripping, not tripping, but like I was. So, and, yeah. and afterwards, he was like, "Yeah, it was so funny." Yeah, in no, my head, no, I was like, "It was so oh. you, you." I, I watched you. Yeah. 
You, your mouth is open for 20 minutes. <laughs> so fucking Just enough. Just trying to catch the spray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was a depressing section. So sh- like, just yeah. shrooms for me, it was brilliant. So I, but because I had I'd taken so many in the day, think, doing that classic drug thing of like, come on, where I need to get high. Oh, and, and, we and all went to a KFC. They ordered a KFC, which I think took 25, 25 minutes. minutes talk. It took four hours for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then went home of so, so high. Like just, but I, I can ride bed. it out. But like you say, I've done it before. I know you're going to be fine. So I just enjoyed I, the headspace. I got in bed that night. I think because when we walked back, I felt fine. But when I got in bed and lay down, I realized I was still blazing. Right. <laughs> I, I, I that, like... was, that was at 12 o'clock. You smoked at four. <laughs> 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 the, o- the only time I've ever done the Amsterdam truffles was uh, me and Tom Horton went over when we were about 24. And obviously we did a day of just smoking weed. And he's like, let's try the truffles. So we get some, it's like, take half a pack each. We go into like the bulldog and I do the thing that you, oh, I chew, right? I'm like, just chew, because it breaks it up, it'll go down easy, and it's this horrible fucking earthy taste. Yeah, it's not nice. And like, I'm trying to put, pour it down with fucking water and everything. And also there's like a 20 minutes where, man, it, like it's a fucking mushroom. So your body's like, what the fuck is this? Maybe this isn't good for it to be in your body. You've kind of just got to breathe through, make sure you don't throw up, because if you throw up, it's out of your fucking body. And, but I'm getting like the uh, uh, Tom's like don't throw up because if you throw up oh, we yeah. don't have any money for it anymore and like you, you won't be high and I'm like I'll be good I'll be good I just need some fresh air right fresh air will do me good I walk out into the lobby right and the fresh air hits my nose from an open door and my body just goes perfect spew and like I properly oh. curl but I do this thing where I just close my mouth my fucking uh, cheeks oh. Oh. fell up like a fucking chipmunk. Right, so I sort of cover my mouth and I go, "You are thirty feet away from the lob- <clears throat> the door. This is a n- nice establishment. It's not, but it doesn't deserve sick on it." I'm like, "Just swallow it down," and then the canal's there, and I swallow it down, and I'm like, "Great!" And I take two more steps, and my brain, ever my best friend, goes. Did you just swallow sick? <laughs> and, and, my body, and my brain went, I think we did. And I fucking run out this fucking door and like Team America <laughs> spew over like a little group of Asians with their flags so they can find each other. Like a little rainbow over the fucking top of them. Everything comes out my fucking system. Tom comes out. He's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I mean, I feel heaps better to be honest with you. He's like, well, let's get you some more just so I'm not doing this alone. And I'm like, Absolutely, go fuck yourself. Enjoy your trip, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get high. So got a spliff, and we're walking around like the art museums. And he's like, the walls are melting. I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. No, they're not. Like, let's just go look at some fucking. We well, went yeah. to the art museum. The walls melted for me, and then he's telling you that's for sale. We went to the art museum. The worst yeah. moment of my entire life happened in the Van Gogh Museum. We're not gonna say what it was, but I, I've. It's on. Is it on the special? Yeah, oh, I've yeah, got yeah. no public cringe. You know that you've seen that. I wanted the hole in the floor to eat me up. Oh, yeah. Adam, me and Carl were playing a game and Carl lost. Adam won that game. I lost. I loser. was in a different part of the gallery <laughs> looking at a painting. I heard it happen and just sort of went. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a window. And I just had to sort of look out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm oh. so high. I heard what was going on. If the window had a... a, a like, he was on a different floor, it, by the way. I would have just walked out the window like, oh, that's me done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, I'm a big fan of Amsterdam. I think you could do it without just getting, like, I felt like there's so much of an amazing city it's we didn't really place. see. We saw 10% yeah, yeah, yeah. of it. If, yeah. Yeah. If, that, if you, the, I, I think the locals also, like, I mean, all fucking locals hate all tourists wherever you go in the world, but like in Amsterdam, they're like, they waste so much of the city. Like, they only stay in this 10%, and then the rest of Man, we got a fucking canal boat uh, during like November. And like, even even though you can buy weeds in a fucking store, because of the way this country is, it still feels like weird to like smoke weeds outside. So we're on this canal and we've got like uh, blankets around us and we get the fucking joint out and like, we're trying to hide it. And we're like, who the fuck are you? No one they're, cares. O- they're only used to stoned British cunts drinking cheap wine on this fucking river. Yeah. It's, you know, if, I don't think we'll ever get fucking- We got a pop boat as well. We got a smoke yeah. boat. Aye, it's yeah. class. It's really, yeah. it, man, it's, yeah. it's such a stunning- so you did, did you end up going to, did you go to Anne Frank's? We read it loud. Dan wouldn't let us go. He didn't trust us. He didn't, because we've done that. In the when you watch the special, <laughs> patreon.com slash have a word pod, that watch the bit in the Van Gogh Museum, right? Watch that bit where I would have, if the glass <laughs> wasn't there, ended my own existence. <laughs> Hi, looking at sunflowers. And tell me, 
why I didn't want to go to Anne Frank's house with these two <laughs> fucking animals. Yeah, but you're allowed to be in, you're allowed to be loud and erratic now. Not this loud. <laughs> In, we did the new camp. We went to Barcelona for the rugby special. We went to the new camp. We paid about 180 euros each for the exclusive, like, you're the swanky cunt tour. Oh, yeah. And there's a bit where you get to stand on the fucking thing in the press conference room. So everyone gets up. Adam gets up. Can, yes. you, can, you, uh, can you talk about what's going on? No, I'm not talking about that. I went, oh, I'll have a go. Carl goes, uh, will you answer the allegations of being a paedophile? <laughs> that loud. The room is full of people. Just families going, oh. oh. Imagine that on shrooms. Shoot me in the fucking head. <laughs> Uh, that was your finest moment, actually. Oh, you've got My finest you... moment was definitely the Van Gogh Museum. I didn't cringe. <laughs> I just found it dead funny. Like, I... it was funnier than it was cringy for me. <laughs> hey, by the way, if you ever want to film in Amsterdam, be careful, because they'll try and... Oh, they're so... Oh, you, can't, you, can't, you, I oh, you can't them... be filming here. We told you coming in the canal. I think, I think Anne Frank was <laughs> vlogging. That's why they got so annoyed with her. Is that the history? Yeah. Was she a YouTuber or something? Yeah, they were like, hi, ah, you cannot do film in the Arctic. They're yeah. all very threatening. You know, yeah. It's all subtle. You can't it's film on the We can't tell you why, but you will be It dead. would be a very bad for you and your whole family <laughs> if you were to film on a train because they will die from a bullet to the face. Anyway, <laughs> have a nice holiday. And what that might change your personality. Three to the chest, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Three to the chest, one to the head, or whatever. <laughs> don't do it on a tram. My break time. Uh, I should have a break. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll have a break. <laughs> Bye. What's happening, everyone? Time to tell you about my absolute favorite sponsor, Stitch Fix. Carl, you've heard of Stitch Fix, haven't you? Absolutely. The people who do all the heavy clothes. Yeah. Online shopping service. Go online at stitchfix.co.uk slash word. Set up your profile. Pick out what you like the look of. They'll sort of decide your style and you pick out your sizes and then they'll send you stuff and they'll improve your clobber, innit? Do you need to subscribe? Oh. No. Oh, common misconception there, lads. Here's the best part. Usually you pay a styling fee of £10 each time you order, but our friends at Stitch Fix... Have a special offer for who, Carl? For I'll oh, have a word listeners, of course. For you guys who were listening. You yeah. right. Do it just do it natural. Them, yeah. Right now. Them. Do the, it. The styling charge for your first order will be waived. Oh, um, and they'll waive it. How do they get that waived? What do they, they have to They do? just just do it. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving you the opportunity to try the service completely free of charge. They're just dead sound. There's no subscription required. Oh, you mentioned that before. You got some stuff, didn't you? Like you got boots, they were heavy. You got Did like, I? Yeah, they sent some stuff last year and it was lovely. Yeah, it's stuff that I wouldn't have actually gone for. But you wore And it. then you get it, try it on and go, nice. That's the benefit. Sometimes you're like, you know what? I've never tried that, but I've trusted them. And I now. got home and Laura went, wow, I'm going to bang you twice this month. What? Well, there's the sale. Yeah, yeah. she owes me one of those. Get started today <laughs> at stitchfix.co.uk slash word and you'll receive your first fix. Not your first fix, your first, first fix, fix styled and delivered to you absolutely free. And to sweeten the deal, Carl, to sweeten the deal. Make it sweeter. They'll, <laughs> how sweet, though? I mean, want it to be sweet. Two, some things can be too sweet. Two sugars. What about 20%? Oh, oh, That's off. Two, 20%. No, not 20% on. Cash back. 20% off <laughs> when you keep all five items. Which you're going to. Uh, again, that's stitchfix.co.uk slash word. You've got nothing to lose. Sorry, so I say that last bit more naturally. You've got nothing to lose. Let's try it a third time. You got nothing to lose. Yeah, that, that was the one, wasn't it? Stitch fix. Now then, ladies and gents, time to talk about my absolute favorite sponsor. It's Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Very long time partner to have a word. Now they've sponsored us for a while. And look, it's New Year, isn't it? You're having a clear out of your house. Why don't you have a clear out of the hair around your cock as well? Get yourself the Manscaped Lawnmower Performance Package. It's the best shaver on the market. You can shave your balls and you won't cut your scrot. Yeah. Why are you waiting? Why have you not already got one of these? Get your fellow one for Valentine's Day. Get yourself one for Valentine's Day, lad. Shave your cock and your missus will enjoy sucking you off more than she normally does. Do you know what I mean? With our exclusive offer, go to manscaped.com and use code WORD20 for 20% off and free shipping. I'd be much more likely to suck a dick if it was, like, shaved. Mm. He's and always it. said that. He keeps saying it to me. Mm. And that's why I bought a Manscaped. Mm. Get 20% off and free shipping with code WORD20 at manscaped.com. And then when you're in the gym, new year, new you, oh and you're God. sweating, yeah, it's better down there, isn't it? You don't have, like, wet pubes. Manscaped. 
Let's land this plane of a podcast. Tell you what, energy drink I love. Sneak. Sneak energy drink. What's that one, Dan? This is, mmm, icy blast. It's <laughs> called Blizzard. You love that one. I just guessed because of the graphics, but this is the new one. Um, I like watermelon, strawberry, and bubblegum. Watermelon's probably the worst fruit in the world. The nope. merch looks nice, though. Underrated, overrated? Watermelon Thank is you, rated. Mm. Watermelon might as well not exist. No one would notice. I would. Yes. It's a great mm. flavour for sweets, I just add though. watermelon. You know I mean? It's all of them. Oh, I love watermelon no, it sweets. Is. Yeah. It taste like spicy. What ba- it's bananas. Spicy. Bananas the worst. We've been there. <laughs> so we've got annoyed about this previously. Yeah. B- banana flavoured things taste more like banana than bananas. And bananas good, are so... It's good though, isn't it? Mm-mm. Every oh, banana... that's wrong. The texture and the taste of banana is like somebody else has chewed a banana, left it in their mouth for a bit and then spat it back well, into your mouth. Uh, I think the complete it's... opposites here. Banana flavour is disgusting. No, bananas are quite lies. nice. I'm with you. Banana flavour's heavy. Bananas are just like mushy shite. But nah. if you like sneak, <laughs> <laughs> they don't do banana flavour. Use code word 10. Do you think mobility is overrated? That. That, uh, Dan? Well, for, yeah, for us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the... Well, you know... <laughs> Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for them until they're in my way, and then you're like, "Why are you at a theme park? Your life's a ride. You don't need to go on the, big, <laughs> you don't need to go on the big spinny upside down ones. You're well, on. Is that mobility scooter going around a car park? Yeah. It's their theme He's park. Having the time of his, <laughs> <laughs> He's having the time of his life, yeah. or it's broken. So you know, mm. but I don't, I don't bother strangers. Do you know if I ever run for president? <laughs> of, <laughs> that's this year, is it? Just of yeah. where? Prime Minister, then. Whatever oh, you want. Yeah, that's the next Patreon special, is it? I would make it, you have to have a license to, to walk in city centres. Yeah. Correct. People shoot, can't walk. Shoot anyone below the speed of two miles an hour in the back of the head <laughs> or yeah. the chest three times. Like, they there. should have absolutely <laughs> no rights if they walk too slow. Correct. Like, I should be able to pick them up and just fuck them out the way <laughs> so I can get past them. Also, fuck couples them the who walk down the street holding hands extended and make no effort oh. to... It should be so socially acceptable to karate chop yeah. their fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be able to karate chop them and then get the, the feather on the floor and finger his bum a bit. <laughs> okay, that's a next like, level. This is what you get for making my day harder. Yeah, but and he's like, okay, I've learned no lesson. This is class. If anything, I don't oh think I God. love my girlfriend anymore. And your chili sauce on your finger. Oh, okay. You're Ooh. later as well. What? Well, I just thought you're late, aren't you? I think really would get out of the way if Doing Adam's contrary. walking down fucking <laughs> Bold Street. With chili on Bold his finger. Bold Street is the worst city, uh, the worst road in the city to walk down, bar none. No, it's not. It is pathetic. No, it's no, very you walk busy. in the road, it's fine. But if you walk on the pavements, yeah, everyone walks on the road because it's fucking pedestrianised. What are you talking about? It yeah. is very busy. It's Bold tried- Street's great for walking. The place to not walk is like Liverpool One, when you're all boxed in. They've got fast lanes on the floor. I know, but people don't obey them, Carl. <laughs> There's fucking stupid old cunt women in the fucking fast lane going, oh, I've got to get my grandson a birthday card. He's not even going to read it, you daft squat. Finger her ass, are we? Birthday cards, her. overrated. Oh, birthday yes. cards, overrated. There you go. Fuck all cards off. Over- overrated once you get to the stage where this does nothing. Like yeah. that's Birthday cards before this when you're like, Hunter. Yeah. Oh. oh, I still check. Yeah. Oh, every birthday card. <laughs> 42. Like from a kid, I like, got a tenner in a Christmas card this year. It felt great. If that you tenner, the, the two pints I got with that tenner. My my granddad still uh, to all of his grandchildren whenever we leave after visiting. We'll Makes you shake him off in the car. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get oh, the back. shake, the shake, and he'll like he's, he doesn't do it to to me anymore because there was times when I'm like, Gra- Grandpa, I really appreciate this, but like it's. I'm I'm okay. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. <laughs> like, I'm touring Europe. Yeah, 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 it's oh, you know what? Fuck it, I will take. I, I How much? Take. How much does he lay down? Uh, for me, for me, it's like a fiver. But, but I mean, to some of the other grandkids, because he's man, the end is in sight for him. So like, he's looking at his bank account, being like, you can't take this to heaven or hell. Where oh he's shit, gonna... you so might get a handshake and a like deeds to a bungalow. <laughs> cousin's definitely got on fifty at some point. She'll Fucking be... hell, it's oh. a big hands in me. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. How many times he folded that? Oh. Uh, and this is the same fucking granddad. Love him dearly, but like, we, what was working class as fuck when he was born? Like, had to have a job when he was like twelve. Had six brothers because they were just like a bunch of you are gonna die. So let's just fucking create stock at this point. Worked his way up to like middle class when he was in his forties. And when me and my cousins were round uh, once, I was about seventeen years old. My cousin was sixteen. My other cousin was fifteen. And he's like, "I know you boys. I know it's uh, 
technically uh, illegal, but since it's the weekend and it's just in our house, I uh, yeah, yeah, bought you some uh, alcohol that you can have with me. And we're like, and we're all pretending we don't underage drink. And we're like, oh man, yeah, what? What street? What do you have? And he's like, well, you know, I asked the lady at the shop what, like, you know, kids, teenagers drink. <laughs> and so she got, I love, uh, just, yeah, yeah. My name's John, living in a local village. I'm looking to get some kids drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and just wondering what you'd quiz, recommend. Shake my arms, keep it quiet. No, but, no, no. They yeah. are my grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got I this big tumour in my brain. And <laughs> it is. Oh. Um. <laughs> Can you see a lump? Because <laughs> I could feel one. <laughs> what was it? What was the drink? Uh, so he goes, I got you some uh, Monnier. And we're like, what? what? Oh, Is it like it. champagne? He's like, no, no, but I think it's sparkling, but Monnier. And we're like, fucking what? Posh fucking drink. Is it Monnier? Magners. Oh, <laughs> Monnier. <laughs> French Magnus. <laughs> Monnier. Monnier. Fucking none of us had thought. He's like, I think it's French. We're like, yeah, from that French territory. <laughs> Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> what year Monier. is it, Grandad? Hey, do you know if I'm ever like rich, like rich, rich, like fucking Monier twen- rich? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have got Monier on top. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and Guinea. Yeah. <laughs> What's that one? Guinness. Guinness. A Guinea, Monier. Uh, yeah. What the? Um, uh, oh. I'm not leaving my grandkids a fucking penny, mate, because I've got a theory. That this is a, you know, the way capitalism rules the world, mm-hmm. pretty much. I think that's the way God wants it. And this level of life and existence is just a game. <laughs> and you're supposed to amass as much money as you can. <laughs> and when you get to the afterlife, they go, right, how much money have you got? Right, that's how much you've got to spend. I think you can take it with you. Mm-hmm. And it, that's that's the whole, that's oh. what this whole life is about. So I'm not leaving my grandkids any money, giving them a head staff when they get to heaven. And I've got to go and fucking work in Marks and Spencers in the fucking sky. So are you taking it with you? You're getting it cashed and it's no, going... No, they check it. your bank accounts when you get there. Oh, right. It's like, hang on, no, this is promised. Do you to know how Vinnie. inheritances work when you die and you... Yeah. yeah. Also, I mean, I think... the. Jesus said it's easier for a, a camel to th- through the eye of a needle for a, than a rich man to get into heaven. Yeah, but maybe that's just a double bluff. Yeah, well, yeah. unless unless you go up there and he's like, you've got heaps of money and you somehow get a camel and you put it through an eye of a needle. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, fair play, man. I have yeah. absolutely no idea how you did he, he that. He didn't Come specify how big the that's, needle was. That's all being done on YouTube. Hey, he didn't specify how big the needle was. Yeah. So you've got to look th- deeper, Daniel. I feel like you don't think about these things. <laughs> so I think you've got to get a massive cash withdrawal, everything in your bank accounts, put it in the coffin with you. That's the only way to really no, take it I think it you get you. up there and you just check your bank. He's God's got access to everything, hasn't he? He's omnipotent. All oh, right, cool. Has he got your password? I've got it. Oh. God knows. <laughs> wait, he knows. <laughs> he's also password? God. He knows everything. Yeah. Yeah. He's made. He, if he's God like, goes. you fucking left it to little Vinny and little Vinny too. Vinny you're a fucking too? idiot. Yeah. That's the girl, Vanessa. Here I am guessing Adam. <laughs> here I am, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, guessing Adam Rose's password for his online pancake. Okay, Salah sixty nine. Right. Oh, one, hey. one, one. Did it in one. Hey. <laughs> Salah's eleven. Yeah, but but sixty nines are cool. Best yeah. sex, yeah. sex number, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's to be an exclamation mark in there as well. Yeah. Got to be. Got to have an account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we do some questions? <laughs> <laughs> this one's from God. What's your password? <laughs> um, <laughs> Matthew. Hello, this is God. Um, it's happening, boys. Finally caught up on all the pa- uh, public and Patreon episodes. Only took four months. The wife is ready to punch my That's head some in. You lads like are that. great. Keep smashing it. It's from Chris Stalker. Cheers, Chris. Bet so the is. reason for the email, I went to see Bert Kreischer in Manchester last week. Now, I know Bert has a party vibe going on and engages well with his fan base, but personally, I felt this went too far with fans trying to be part of the show. It was painful to watch, and it got to the point where he was being heckled so bad he couldn't get his jokes out without being interrupted. Super fr- frustrating for us to watch as we've waited years for him to get to the UK. To be fair, Bert turned it around and smashed it, but it did leave me pissed off about the absolute weapons that were there. Question is, have you lot ever been to a show or been involved in a show where the, where the audience think they are interacting, but in actual fact, they are just ruining it for everyone else? Also, we- did any of you go and watch Bert? If so, what were your thoughts on the evening? Chris Stalker. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, a lot of people were messaging going, why hasn't Bert been on Have A Way About It? Yeah. Oh, we tried. Bert tried very hard, and so did we. Uh, when he was originally in Manchester, we were in Amsterdam. When we got back, it was just it was too complicated schedule-wise. He has sort of said, next time he's over, we'll make it happen. He tried really, really hard, so did his team. It just couldn't work. Second of all, we basically did a full episode about this when I got back from 
Do you remember the Edinburgh Festival that happened during COVID where everyone just did like two dates? Yeah. They were like my first proper gigs back selling tickets to our fan base. And we had to do a whole episode because I had fans in who were heckling podcast references to be like, hey, I'm your biggest fan because I know this phrase. Aren't I your favourite person in the room? And it was the and first time we gigged after the success had started. So everyone had been yeah. locked down. There was like this weird fucking, it was almost like a yeah. fizzy bottle of pop having Aye. the top taken off. I'm, I get it. Like I, I get why they're doing it because they're trying to go, I'll be his favourite person because he'll know that I listen to the podcast all the time. In reality, I couldn't hate you more than anyone I've ever met. But we, that's changed now, hasn't it? Yeah. It do, like my tour was almost spotless for those dickheads. It just didn't happen. But man, it's, it's about, with the Bart thing, it, because of, you know, how his fucking career, you know, he became famous off the fucking machine story. He is yeah. the fucking party boy. The danger of being a comedian is, look, man, you cultivate your own fucking audience. You choose who turns up at the fucking next gig by the material you do on the podcast and what they come to see you. Like, you know, with his style of comedy, I'm like, of course you're getting all the fucking drunken morons because, uh, not that's because what he fucking deserves, but because they're like, it's me, they see it. They're not the people who get, f understand fucking comedy to the point where, I mean, it, it's all He will have some real comedy fans that love 100%, 100%. him. 100%, some, but, but, but if you don't get the, what else is going on, you just see a party boy and go, I'm a party boy. Man, these, can't, these are the cunts who talk during the fucking cinema. There's a fucking breed of people who from a young age, for whatever reason, were just never taken to places where you sit in one direction, you look in one direction, and if you say a fucking word, you, it, you're gonna get, in Fife, if you spoke during the fucking cinema, you were going to get your head kicked in very early on. Even when we were in fucking, like, in high school, because they were trying to add some fucking culture to us, they took us out to the theatre, and there was like a 15 minute lecture beforehand from the teachers being like, if anyone says a word during this fucking performance, you're dragged out of there by the fucking ear, and everyone's going home early. Like, it's, there's an etiquette to watching a performance with other people around you that some people just don't get because they're like, oh, it's my favourite person. It's my favourite thing. And, and I know and I'm obsessed and I know so much about their life because I've listened to every fucking second. Of, I call in though, buddy, I appreciate it. Shut your fucking But with stand-up, there's a weird thing of going, you're there and you're talking to me and so I can tell you that... And, oh, but you ask all these questions. I, I know, can't, but they're rhetorical. What about you, first. Sauce? Do you get, like, have you got a crowd that get it and watch it and listen, yeah. or do they want to join in with stuff that you and Kai have done on the pod, or do they reference your specials, or? No, because all of my comedy is fucking dark, introverted, wank. Like, <laughs> all of my fans are like, ugly weird little introverts who would never dare speak up in public and they're just happy to see me like i'm very i love my fans because after every single show we do anywhere in the world all of the staff are like they're also lovely my fans are like japanese football fans at the world cup they clean up after themselves like they, they they're nice to the fucking staff they don't make too much you know scenes but that's also why i'll never have a bra thrown at me <laughs> <laughs> like Small I just, it's my comedies, you know, because of the break, stuff about breakups and deaths and fucking rape and sexual assault. I, uh, my thing is always, I get people afterwards when I meet them taking me to the site to talk to me for ten minutes about their dead relative or they yeah. talk to, and I'm like, that's not a heckle you want, is it? No, <laughs> and you can't interrupt these people because they're bearing their souls to you, and it's a very tough thing to be honest with someone and to talk about a hard time in your life. And you're like, you're there with a fucking sharpie hovering, going. Uh huh. And when did you get over your father's death? <laughs> it was James, was it? It was James. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Saws about your dad. Uh, <laughs> but then I always feel, I, and also my fans always bring me weed. So if you ever want to speak to me and not have me rush you on, put a fucking spliff in my mouth and I'll tell you about my day. <laughs> Wow. You have to take it out. That's what I did at the restaurant. You don't special. do a meet and greet. Yeah. You do a, you do oh, a smoke up. My God, that restaurant oh. special was. Uh, that restaurant special was. You two were. Hell of you fun. and Kai were fucking yeah. golden. That, that we restaurant had, special. We were so happy to uh, be allowed to be part of it. Uh, we were so excited just because it was. It was just so silly. Even just the con. So the second you pitched it to me, I was like, and I, I said, "Can I bring Kai down? Because we'll just have the time of our fucking lives here. It's gonna be fun." And then we turned up, and there was like thirty minutes where we were all like, "Oh God." <laughs> 
like this is a real <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> like, like even even though they just have a word fans and stuff, and they know what's going on, like there's that's a real waitress. They pay that's a good real, money, aren't they? Uh, the actual fucking money, and and so there was like, oh god, we don't know what they're doing, and then we just all got baked and. Shit Did he pop that night? Oh up. my! We were oh. working our damn asses off, putting on the job. Yeah, like, well, I didn't even have a drink after the after the shift. We should have invited you for some pot. Oh, I, I didn't even drink. I just com with. committed to my yeah. job. <clears throat> oh, it was it was it was so so very good. If anything like that in the future, if it's just a chance to be silly and slightly cunty to your fans, I want to do a bar Cow one, but I don't know how it'd work. Mm, I, it might be a bit easy. Well, what would everyone else be doing? So obviously you had, you had, the, you had the chefs and you had the waiters and then you had the bar staff and you had the maitre d' yeah, in a bar. What would it be? I think it'd have to just be a bigger restaurant, you know, right. if we did it again. Have, have Amy Lee Owens as the bouncer. That'd be the step one. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do, we'll, on we'll do another restaurant takeover, 100%. Yeah, because in, yeah, a, cause in a bar, you're going to want music on, <laughs> aren't you? Restaurant, that that's what helped, didn't it? Because everyone sat around and... Yeah, we will do it again, though. But uh, you had to pay two bills, didn't you? Oh, I did, yeah, because I, because, and it was just, it was like somebody said, because everyone had paid beforehand. That was the entire fucking point. But obviously, everyone had to get their own fucking drinks. And like three of my table, and I was so chuffed because three of my tables had left. I'd done my job, like they fucking liked it. And the second I worked out that we weren't working for tips, I'm like, well, we can drop a lot of the mask here. <laughs> so like the, the second they were, I'm like, is that you done with your dessert? And they were like, yeah. And I'm like, I. Fucking see you next time, cunts. That's me clearing out. <laughs> and then and then I just see like people like handing over money and I'm like, oh, maybe other people did get tipped. <laughs> Why would they be handing that over to the lovely head of staff there? <laughs> and then just suddenly the dawning realization of oh yeah, they do all have to pay for their own drinks. Uh, and at least Did you pay? Uh, no, I offered to because it was one hundred percent my uh, oh, uh fuck, fuck up. But I, th I think you guys Sucked up the costs. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Didn't know about that. Also, if you did not, no, I, I paid. I paid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it was seven grand bills as well. <laughs> yeah, right. it was. Well, then, Moshe, it's twenty-one grand. Um. <laughs> um, let's close this one out. A little bit of advice. Uh, this is from an, an anonymous bog vapor. Oh, you'll love this one, Carl. Darth Vader. Oh, do you know what? Actually, I think this is a hard word. I take it back. Oh, this is... Oh, oh, what are you doing oh, here? Then I do, then. Come on. That is was... Is that a mash-up? Oh, yeah. I just mash... I, in fact, while we're mashing up, I'm going to add... I love a bit of cunnilingus. I love a bit of cunnilingus. Um, That's one of the buttons now. You can't this hear is, it. Yeah. This is a, an actual have a word. Uh, it says have... <laughs> so, audio listeners, that was atrocious. I apologise. Have a word with me. My bird doesn't know, but I use my IBS as an excuse to sit on the toilet and drink wine and smoke vapes. <laughs> I'm not having a word with you. She's you thick king. <laughs> what the fuck I'm are you a, talking about? I'm Get a, me. You got it boxed. I'm an ex smoker, not a Ming. Oh, Hang on. We've been together for five years. I've only started doing it in the past year or so because she wanted me to quit ciggies and drinking in the house so much. I don't think she remembers how much of a boring cunt I am when I'm sober compared to how much fun we have oh. when I'm a little bit buzzed. Think of fun Bobby from Friends. Oh, yeah. I know it's wrong, but I think it helps our relationships. Am I in the wrong? Should I confess? Are no. baby wipes really flushable? That's from no. an anonymous Babe, well, that's the 12 empty bottles of fucking shit out of it. No, what does she think the smell is? Why are you... Red wine is why I have a fucking problem with. Why a drink that you need to let breathe? Would you have it in the one room where you shouldn't let it breathe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, wine? that's... Yeah. But have a, have a, have a fucking shot of a I don't think he's, I don't think he's like a red wine twat like you clearly he are. Said, I think, I think he's just like open the shit as, get it down your neck. And from the bottle. Yeah. How oh, oh, stupid is Why she? wine though? You like must, who's, <laughs> is that a thing? She's drinking, got, drinking wine and smoking vapes. Is that, is that like DMX or something? Yeah. Yeah. Great album. He's um, going the toilet sober. And then coming back with red wine stain <laughs> and he's smelling of like blueberries and he's going, yeah, oh, <laughs> shit. She's slow. I have just had a pretty intense fruity <laughs> shit. And I have to cut down on fruit. She's player. slow as fuck. <laughs> Where I'm, have you been for two and a half hours? I'm having losing a, a lot of time to my toilet lately. 
You're welcome. Yeah, I'm because you've got a Japanese I've got me electronic. I've a Japanese toilet for Christmas. Oh. The bum cleaner. Yeah, yeah. I oh, know yeah. you'll rate this because you did stand up about the fact that toilet paper doesn't clean assholes. Mm. Uh-huh. And, and I, I also have a Japanese toilet. Yeah, room. and that's what I say to people when they go, you don't need one. I go, well, if you wiped your arm, arm with shit, you know, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a game. No, it's so game changing because not only is it just it's spraying your butthole to clean it, but it's also, it's do it's doing, if you do it properly, it's, it's doing a tiny little enema each time. Inside. Oh, mate, Cause, I. Because the force of it, force tiny of Tiny little enema. Uh-huh. Like I squared up my ass all the other day and it came up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you, fantastic. Now, I, now add wine and vapes to that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I position holiday. my asshole. Yeah. Like I sit in like the perfect sort of arched back, exact right there, so that it is going right up. And I, I spread my cheek have it onto each. Yeah. Onto because yeah, e- it's got it's got to get past the, the different walls of your. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have it oscillating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press it twice. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I spread my cheek as far right onto that one as I can. Oh. And spread that as far left on. Oh, so my yeah. arse cheeks are right so <laughs> far wide. apart. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's and my bum hole is open. And then I try, even when I'm finished shitting, I try and shit again. Yeah. So that it opens me bum hole. Yeah. So that it is ready to receive. Because your your the, butt- the woo. Your butthole is apparently very very territorial. So the sec because it's only used to like poo coming out. So the second water goes in, it's like whoa. Oh, closes. We're losing ground here. Like yeah. this is we gotta come out extra fucking aggressive. It's. Oh, Has you also got right. a dryer on it? <laughs> Dan, you don't seem like. Where would you put the jizz when you come? <laughs> what? Is there a little Which, button for that as well? Oh, for when you come because there's water going up your ass? Well, it sounds like you're getting fucked by your toilet seat. Yeah. I am, yeah. yeah. Right. Daniel, does yours have a dryer? It does have a dryer. What well, it doesn't have, and you nailed it there, with because trying to get it to like aim directly up your fucking butthole, it would be good if there was like, if it connected to your phone via Bluetooth. Ask those. And there was just like a little camera where like you were on a NASA doesn't space battle, shuttle no. and like you could aim it directly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Instead oh, yeah. of being like, Oh, yeah, fucking. I've spread I, ro- I roughly know where I am with mine now, though. Yeah, like I know it. I know. Have where you used the me. front bum bit yet on your bollocks? No, not 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 intentionally. That's a new one, though. Also, my my missus refuses to admit that she uh, uses it because she thinks it was like one of my purchases. It's good after she... sex for the lady. Oh. Trying to come out of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. comes yeah. out the fucking nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he said it bluntly, but it does. Yeah. Darling, have you got the sniffles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll give you a pink eye. Uh, but is yeah. there a button for that as well? Uh, wash, Lou, get on them. You've got cold, Carl Tent. Mate, um, <laughs> listen, whatever you do with your life, if you're hiding it by doing it in a toilet on your own, it's probably not good, is Bollocks, it? Bollocks, no. Toilet time is men's peace. Well, apparently not. It's some, like a fucking <laughs> sex show at your house. <laughs> Do you know when you're in a relationship though and you're just getting a bit fucking sick of it? Don't you ever just go to the toilet for a break? For I've got a bit? garden office. Do you know what I mean? Don't you ever just go and s- just be like, do you know what? I'm going to go, I don't even need a shit, but I'm going to pretend I'm Just leave the one. room and go somewhere else. You don't have to sit with them. Yeah, your missus is lovely and she's reasonable. So's yours. Not, yeah, but n- other women aren't. Oh, right. The people I've been with in the past are like. <laughs> 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 the people I've been with in the no, past. I, I didn't do it cool uh, enough. <laughs> People are beaming in the past. Some of them are mental. And they're like, what? You want a, an hour away from me? No! No! But they want the hour as well. No, but they, they say they don't. Exactly. What? <laughs> what? I also like your perspective. Dad, like, Dan, this listen, we've been really subtle about it. Yeah. Adam's in a relationship. <laughs> we're going to ease the information out and I'm going to play cool. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to say, Dan? Scooby Doo! Just like your perspective that like as as if women are also going to the toilet just to get the fuck away from <laughs> us. Because my, my missus is like she's like I need an hour and a half to get ready, and because I've never checked in on that, you're like yeah, I guess it takes an hour and a half to get ready. Anytime I go upstairs holding her son, just on her phone, yeah. and I'm like oh yeah, fair enough. Like you know yeah. that's I'm not fun to talk to. All of the You've time. You've got to be separate sometimes. She's watching yeah. shite on the telly. Yeah. yeah. She's got Gilmore Girls we, on the Yeah, yeah. No, we we no. watch the exact same shit our missus is watching. Yeah, we absolutely. talk about Grey's this. Anatomy is the greatest TV show ever. And we talk about it all the time. Everyone absolutely. dies. I don't want to watch it. Everyone does die. Yeah. Everyone's 31 and dies of whatever I think I've got that week. Yeah. It's it's the worst Someone comes program in like on the planet. Broken shin and then he, he'll, he'll be talking and he'll pass out. I just got a brain tumour. 
Yeah. But it is the best TV show ever made. Sloss, uh, yeah. time to wrap up. Yep. Thanks very much for coming on. Man, You're on so all the social me. medias, but you came to tell us about, you've got two specials on your website. Yes, I love uh, one is the, my special X, which is what I did globally around the world. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> for free on my fucking website. X is free, and that's already been out on HBO. HBO, and uh, it was released in cinemas in the UK, but now you can just watch it for free. And then another special that I recorded like fucking four years ago, but it's from a show six years ago. It's called Socio, and that's like a fiver on my website. So oh, I mean, I was cool. just desperately trying to get rid of my fucking back catalogue. And now it's gone. So Netflix and my website is where you can watch all of my shit. Go and watch yeah. Sloss, one of the best in a game. Podcast. DanielSloss.com? Uh, DanielSloss.com and Sloss and Humphreys on the road is our, you know, it's our podcast. I'll stop saying it's terrible because Kai gets upset when I call it terrible. But... You know, it's, it's good. This. I've been on it a couple of times. Very fun. Yeah. Oh, it's man. We have the time of our life, and the sh- people who've listened to us are very loyal. We don't bring in any new. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my autumn tours on sale. DanNightingale.com. Going all over the place. Middlesbrough, Shrewsbury. They're big fucking rooms. Keep Need to sell out. some tickets. Keep an eye out this week. We've got some news a coming about some Have a Word live shows. Oh, they're going to be great. And uh, the start of next month, I'll have some uh, tour news about my stand up tour. And vote for us in the Channel 4 National Comedy Awards. Yes, please. please. Vote, vote Have a Word. Vote Congratulations have a word. on that as well. Thank man. you very it's much. About finally, uh, time you guys We're oh, taking flares. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Finn, you've got something to add? Yeah, I love a bit of cunnilingus. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Is that the name of the band? Yeah. Uh, I love a bit of cunnilingus. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear this if these have my sound with life. <laughs> I love a bit of cunnilingus. All oh, right, you do. Okay, carry on. Um, <laughs> before we get to the artist of the week, I've got a new single coming out. Take Ooh. a ride. It's called? I love a bit of cunnilingus. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that kind, EP. Kind of. It's called, it? t- it's called Take a Ride. Ooh. It's a banger. So, on my like, pussy. It's not just like a Finn banger. <laughs> what does it's that a, mean? <laughs> like, we're not going, oh, it's good. It's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Like in the past when you put music out and we're like, oh, <coughs> listen to Finn's songs and like behind you back in the in the WhatsApp group that we that we have without you in it. Yeah. And we're all like fucking shite this. Like <laughs> with this one, we haven't even spoke about it. No. It's a it's Just an actual, 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 it's it's an actual, actual bad. Bad. Is this it? No, Are you playing no, it now? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. no okay. but it's, it's available because it's not out yet. It's available to pre-save though. It, it would help me out a lot. Yeah, just remember. Uh, I love a bit of kind of lingus. <laughs> do you not want to? Do you not want to play it even though it's not out? It's like a preview. Yeah. No, yeah. It'll, it'll be it'll be on the week it's out. Shut okay. Oh. Might even be getting a little so video. Why don't you do actually, it two weeks? You might fucking be getting work a little it. video it's for the shit. for oh, the thing. Oh right, okay. Um, so which band this week? My it's, Labrador's prolapse. <laughs> this week is uh, the caterpillars come tissue. Ca- oh no, Go we on. had them last week. <laughs> this week is what? Go on. Pedo cancer. With pedo tumor, please. Pedo, pedo oh, tumor. Sorry, pedo. cancer of the peed. <laughs> this week is um, <laughs> Steve. I love a bit of kind of say the word. <laughs> I can't. Uh, Steve sent me this one. It's a it's a member of staff from Bongo's Bingo, so we're giving him a uh, bit of a shout out. We love Bongo's Bingo. Uh, so this is Wonderlust with Love at First Sight. Oh, Wonderful. very nice. Enjoy. That's on the audio YouTube. Love you. Godspeed. Bye. I love a bit of kind of lingus. <laughs>